Everest, man. God <laughs> damn. You can wait. Y'all know, y'all y'all know I ever get down. Don't, don't act like you don't know. <laughs> That's facts. What's up, everybody? Look good with it. What's up, everybody? I got something. I got something for y'all um, yeah. that we're going to start with this week. Um, and I think the guys is going to appreciate it. So let's hop. Let's hop straight into it. Good. People think the deconstruction of a man is some loud, violent occurrence, this outpour of bitterness towards the world. And in reality, the deconstruction of a man is a silent film, a common surgical procedure that the world didn't know it was trained to do. The breaking of a boy is the world's quietest natural disaster. As a man, there is no such thing as being stuck between a rock and a hard place. You either use the stones at rock bottom to build a way out or you get buried by them. Ain't nobody coming to save you. The entire world is trying to construct you into its perfect little image and the people around you are the ones who fuel the process of your manufactured masculinity some of us are going to make it through assembly but we need to watch out for our defective counterparts because the whole world is going to use their flaws to define all of us luckily most defective product is aware of its own shortcomings and tends to destroy itself given enough time alone with its imperfections this abridged explanation of the process is how you become a man or a monster. Everybody knows what a monster does. Everybody judges the monster. Nobody questions its creator. Some of us are manufactured to make light of our peril with jokes, if you will. Male comedians are magicians in this way. How they take their pain and airbrush it into something laughable. He, he, ha, ha. Joke about a male suicide. The crowd laughs. The curtains close. The comedian drinks all the way home. A man's tears are just funny that way. Mm. God damn. Yeah. I felt like that was fitting. I felt like that was okay. fitting. Um <laughs> You fired. <laughs> Everett is here. No, he ain't fired. What's going on? Everett people? is here. <laughs> now now put up a ticker, see yeah, how many bro. times he get fired this episode. <laughs> nah, for nope. real. For nope. real. What's going on, fellas? How y'all What's doing? What's up, y'all? What's up? What's going on, motherfucker? What's yeah. up? Let's get into it. <laughs> Normal convos. Hey. Mm. <laughs> yes, sir. Are we doing a video or what? Say words. Wait, was talking on the lot. Hey. 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 You don't hear the music? No, motherfucker. No, oh, nobody hears the music? What, what no. music? No music playing. Oh, that sucks. You got that shit playing through your headphones asking if we hear it. Huh? Right. I don't understand why y'all don't hear it. I ain't even gonna hold you. You know you got headphones on, right? Yeah, I know I got the headphones on, but I'm playing it through the uh, I'm playing it through the pod track shit, like I always do. I play it through it like this all the time. Thank you, Everett. You rehired that. Oh, I hear that. No. Oh, that's fucking sucks. Oh shit, we struggle streaming already. Nah, yeah, we struggle God streaming. damn, man. It ain't been oh, nah, five minutes. It ain't been five fucking minutes. <laughs> nah, we good. We good. We need good. some milk. We good. That... <laughs> we need some milk. <laughs> we, get, we get into it, B. We get into it. We get into it. So, since I fucked that up and we got about, you know, 45 seconds of nothing, uh, <laughs> What we going to do is, is we going to go ahead and kick this off with the fucking video. Uh, let's go. All right. Morning. And welcome to Normal Convos Pod, where we dissect, discuss, analyze, and share our views on today's current topics. And more importantly, things we believe should be normalized as talking points in the black community, the country, and ultimately society's culture. We hope that you enjoy this episode. Brought to you by Scout Solutions, Inc., where we help you get your confidence back.
So come in, sit down, and enjoy your weekly dose of normality. Normal Convos Pod. Hellboy on the Our father is back. Medium shirt daddy. Beat your motherfucking ass with the Street Fighter. Put some money up. Normal Convos Pod. Mm. Booty, yo, booty. yo, 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 you can come back, Mo. Booty, yo, booty, yo, 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 we just left him there on stuck. We ain't nah, for real. That's my bad, Mo. Y'all fucked up. Man, we all just out of there. He <laughs> just sitting there looking like, what the fuck <laughs> happened? No, so I'm, I'm, I'm listening to this game, man. Type <laughs> shit. Welcome oh, to episode man. 77 of the Normal Convos Pod. I'm your host, Brandon, a.k.a. the Pod Father, a.k.a. Perfect Family Man, a.k.a. Basketball Father, a.k.a. or Not So Basketball Father, a.k.a. Soccer Father, a.k.a. Now Dance Father, a.k.a. Uh, Brandonce, a.k.a. Potty Rich, a.k.a. Pod Wave, a.k.a. Um, Pod Shyster. Pod Shysty. AKA a whole bunch of other shit. AKA and I'm here with DJ my guys. Chef Boy RB. Uh, <laughs> oh, damn, DJ Chef Boy RB. I'm definitely the DJ Chef Boy Blood, RB. The Shimmy and Rasta. Facts. Facts. Uh, the Under Potter. Uh, oh, yeah, I am the Under Potter. <laughs> yeah. And I'm here with my guys, of course, for another banging episode. Here with my guys, of course, my brothers, my business partners. Um, of course, I got, you know, the late nigga. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, people? This is your boy, Everett, a.k.a. the Medium Shirt Daddy, a.k.a. the Reverend Do Wrong, a.k.a. I get the mother and the daughter, but probably the daughter first. A AKA, whole bunch of other... Uh, you, 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 you ain't gonna slide past that one no more. I, I don't already proved you said it. So, a.k.a. I, Captain Cock, a.k.a. Um, Medium Luther, AKA um graphic shirt night. Um Facts. aka um Mr. Tell <laughs> Life. AKA I'ma hurt your feelings. Yes, yes, Mr. Mr. Hurt Your Feelings, Mr. Hurt Your Feelings. Keep going, Aww. keep going. Oh, I, I got I got something for you, Mo. Don't don't worry. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> nope. Hey yo, this Bobby. AKA Aries the God, AKA the reference guy, AKA the graphic shirt God in this motherfucker, AKA God, uh, AKA Bobby Drake. Motherfucker, nice man. There we go, AKA King Petty, Petty Spaghetti, Deacon Petty Wop, Petty White, Petty Murphy, uh, Petty LaBelle, Petty White, all the mother Petty shits, Petty Mayonnaise, Petty LaBelle, all the mother Petty shits. Um, Hey, shout out to my motherfucking guy Miguel. Y'all you know I mean he, he he can't do with the shirt, so I'm gonna show y'all the man. Like, don't these AKAs, um, AKA Bob Shill, AKA the background singer, AKA um Jizzy Boy Senior, AKA the point historian, AKA um Row- Rowdy Potty Piper, and uh, AKA um Pod Main, AKA I'll beat your motherfucking ass in some Street Fighter. Put some money up, bitch. bitch. Um. Hey, and a whole hey, bunch hey, of other hey. shit, you know what I mean? The AKA God. God nah, it. for sure. And uh, we here with another episode. Of course, y'all see our guest, Mr. Moses. Um, we we decided to do another another installment of the Educationist Elevation series. Um, and this is the guy that we have all had uh, our own single conversations with and our own uh, thought-out de- conversations with, and uh, we think that he can actually lend some intelligence to us this week. So I think we know he can. Uh, not for sure. So uh, without further ado, of course, Mr. Moses, how you feeling, brother? 
What it do? What it do? Soldiers, man, I can't call it. You know. Sure. Wait a minute. You know. Hold up. Oh. Hold up. <laughs> Not the all. Those are all for it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I meant. There we go. Had to give an applause for our special, very, very special guest. Very special guest. Mr. Moses. I'm Thanks for coming it. through, Mo. Thanks Thank for coming through. Mo. Moses, we Mo appreciate it. I appreciate the invite, man. I appreciate the invite, fellas. I appreciate it. Oh shit! Yeah, before we, 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 we start, we, I saw Miguel came through. Let me go ahead and give a shout out to my motherfucking guy, Miguel. I had to get um, I had to cop um three shirts for my guy, aka um, Pastor Bendover. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shout out to Eco Conversation. Shout out to Jet Fly Clothing. Look, look, look at that. It's my uh, that's that's nasty. <laughs> then I had. Then I had to get the same one. I had to get the same one in the white because it was nasty. Like he was like, you wanted the black one or the white one? I'm like, you know what? Just give me both of them motherfuckers. The white one was nasty. You know what I mean? So I had to get that one too. You know what I mean? And then I it was feel that. There was one more. Those go hard. Those go hard. Nah, yeah. Shouts out sure. to him. They do. Hold on. What, what was this other one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my shit. You know what I mean? Unapologetically dope. With the African, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Shout out to my like motherfucking that. guy Miguel. Shout out to Deep Throat Conversation. Shout out to Jeff Lock Clothing. All right, yeah, that's fire. Me. That's super fire. That bitches, that's me. Pull up on that new V twenty twenty three. Hey, that's my. That's man. my set. He meant, he meant that as a joke, but that was my motherfucking shit for real. Yeah, bro. that's my shit. I fuck hey, with and that. He sent, and he sent me the whole song. Oh, oh, really? oh, yeah, it's the whole second verse of that shit. That shit, see? that shit, fire. Nah, I need that. Yeah, right. shout, shout out to my guy McGill, man. Yeah, right. for sure. So, uh, today, 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 we are going to talk about eugenics. Um, so. Where do we want to start at, fellas? Where do we want to start? Do we want to start with the definition, the the that's Western's a, definition of eugenics, or do we want to? That's a good place to start. We can kind of like break it down a little bit for people who may not understand. Okay. Okay. So the Webster's Dictionary of Eugenics is the study of how to, ar how to arrange reproduction within a human population to increase the occurrence of heritable characteristics regarding as, regarded as desirable. Developed largely by Sir Francis Galton as a method of improving the human race, eugenics was increasingly discredited as unscientific and racially biased during the 20th century, especially after the adoption of his doctrines by the Nazis in order to justify their treatment of Jews, disabled people, and other minority groups. Yep. Basically, they were trying to pull off of Hitler. They were trying to figure out how to get people with blonde hair, blue eyes. Actually, they were just trying to, you know what I'm saying, keep, keep their race going, man. That's how that was, period. Yeah. The best of the yeah. best, as they called it. Right. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Or what they call a master you know, race. Know how they was, you know, they, they mutated, but you know, I mean, they, they ain't ready for that conversation, though. Right. So where, so where do we want to start at? E, you want to start? They ain't mutate. They just, they just start. You know what I'm saying? Breeding with a, you know, saying, a, a better species, and you know, what I'm saying, didn't like what they, the results they got from that. <laughs> mm. It was, it was Talk about power. It. Um, you know, but uh, shoot, start 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 from the basis of where you know, it's like you say, what what was they playing with it, man? You know, what's, the plan was to go with that, man. Create a mask. I be said the blonde hair, uh, blue eyed archetype of what fits into that standard, but it was discredited because it's like I said, it's racially biased and it, it's racist and as such, it's. It's saying that this Look. is the standard that's universally accepted, and <laughs> unfortunately, it, people look at it that way today. I mean, it's it's unfortunate, but that's like the largest representation that you have in society, so it's deemed as the most dominant and the most acceptable. It's fucked up, but it's the truth, and you see it now. People are kind of like they have to where you can customize your children's eye color, their hair color. You you know you can custom make babies almost designer 
Uh, they they plan with chromosomes and all this type of shit. Um, so it, it's in the work now. I mean, th they were doing this with dogs before. Now they just kind of in the open about doing it with humans. Yeah, then they have it to where they can they, they, they can God almost like too. guarantee a boy or a girl now. Like they yeah. they did that years ago, didn't they? That that was like a decade ago, where they um figured out how to make um guarantee whether or not you get a boy or a girl, but it costs it, it costs like. Forty thousand dollars or some shit like yeah, that to, to do it. Yeah, it's yeah, expensive yeah. as fuck, but they can do Absolutely. it. Absolutely, yeah. You can build your baby like a Tesla now. What what options do you want? <laughs> just just pick out this, this, and this. I mean, it's it's funny, but it's true. He ain't lying. We say pull out the catalog. Pull out the pull out the catalog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, you won't. You like want. Big Red on the high heartbeats. We follow Cadillac. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, to a degree, I kind of understand. It's like if you could create a child that's uh, void of any uh, bearing certain characteristics, like would you want your child not to be susceptible to certain diseases imp and illnesses? Imperfections, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't, I, I mean, it's yeah, fucked so up to say it, but, if, you know, a lot of people, like back in the day, if your child came out the R word or disabled, they would abandon that child. It, yeah, it's, it's messed and they up, still like, do. So I think I think um, uh, nah, I think where the where, where the either. problem it was killing them. Either. No, yeah, for sure. Yeah, if, I if, think if, I if think one of the out. problems I think one of the problems with it now, like if it was to get re-implemented into you know what I'm saying, like in the the extreme way that the that the Nazi Party was trying to use it, like if you go the extreme way with it, I think the problem could become what people believe is a disability or what people believe is um, a construct of um, like an illness. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people believe that, you know, homosexuality is an illness. A lot of people think it's that mental illness. They, yeah. they, they, they think they can, you know, pray away the gay and all that. Yeah. Like it, it, it comes down to your own beliefs of what do you believe to be an illness? Right. And I think with Rizzo, today's Rizzo, standards, it goes a lot deeper than that, though, B. Let me hear you. Break it, break it down, Mo. Well, I mean, I mean, let's 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 go back to the beginning of it when they first, you know, what I'm saying, when this scientist, you know, what I'm saying, first came up with this, you know, what I'm saying, rationalization of, you know, what I'm saying, creating the perfect human being, right? You know, what I'm saying, like you say. We can take it far, you know, so we can take it farther back than you know what I'm saying, slavery, because then we get into a whole nother realm. But you know, they was trying to keep, you know, what I'm saying, power families in structure, you know what I'm saying, in, in control, dominant, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, basically like like you say, in, in breeding animals, you know what I'm saying, where you got this breed, you know what I'm saying, with you know what I'm saying, this classification, you know what I'm saying, you, you know, you don't mix breed dogs, you know what I'm saying, your dog gotta be of a certain, you know what I'm saying, you know, stature to, you know what I'm saying, breed, you know what I'm saying, how, you know, how, how motherfuckers breed their dogs, basically. So, back then, they was doing that shit, and, you know, if, basically, if you wasn't a, 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 a wealth in your family, you know what I'm saying, shit, they was motherfucking goddamn, you know what I'm saying, castrating a motherfucker, or, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know what I'm saying, taking out the woman's reproductive, so she couldn't have no kids. If, you know what I'm saying, if you didn't have no money back then, you know what I'm saying, when all this stuff was, you know what I'm saying, first, when this sort of first shit first came about, you know, you know, you 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 weren't allowed to have kids. So, you know what I'm saying, you know, it, it, it's it goes it goes a lot deeper than that, you know what I'm saying, to where we are right now in society, and it's it's on a whole nother level, a whole nother spectrum right now. But going back then, like I say, they was taking motherfucking peoples and you know, certain class of families were, you know what I'm saying, were able to breed with certain class of families, you know what I'm saying? In order to keep, you know, what I'm saying the, the, the genetics and the DNA of that family to continue it going, you know, what I'm saying so right. they can have, you know, what I'm saying like you say, everlasting. You know, what I'm saying you know the, the, the bloodlines gonna would never would never die out. You know what I'm saying? Right. So and a lot of people I mean, are starting to, are, are still trying we, to keep where that we at now with. My bad. A lot of people are still trying to 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 stick with that. Um, because there's a there's a lot of commentary going on about trying to keep the the bloodlines pure, whether it be you know a black family or a white family yeah. or whatever. 
there's a lot of conversation going on right now about that just that topic and right. you know where where a lot of people will demonize eugenics for it like now it's starting to become common practice like people are starting to realize like damn do i want my baby like one of the conversations i had right so everybody know my wife is white right so we had a conversation right or no of the kids that came up with um some type of disease that only runs in black people right and the doctor like my wife took my kid to the doctor by themselves and when she went the doctor was telling her like yeah like they were they were almost scared to tell her like yeah this is a trait like because she felt bad she couldn't figure out what was going on they was like yeah it's just it's it's, it's it wasn't sickle cell uh bobby i think that's who you said it wasn't sickle cell um but they were almost scared to tell her because you know so many women go into these damn hospitals and shit for 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 stuff with their kids and they think the man ain't present or the daddy ain't present so you can't even go talk to the man and figure out his family history and all that type of shit <laughs> right so they was almost scared right. to tell her that it was because he like my son had melanin in him so it was like it, it kind of goes what my point is there's a lot of people that are starting to struggle with that now of hey um i want to keep my bloodline pure you know what i'm saying i want to keep my bloodline black and i want to keep it pure and i want to only fornicate with this family or that family that and that's how i want it to go that ain't nothing new though b it ain't it's not that ain't nothing that ain't, that ain't nothing new right there b it's, that 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 you know what I'm saying that's 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 been going on since the beginning of the time, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, so like you said, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, what I'm like you say, I mean, mixing mi mixing bloodlines was 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 highly you know what I'm saying against you know what I'm saying going back to our parents. Every you know culture, you know what I'm saying? Every culture. You 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 know what I'm saying? You I mean it, exactly. So you know what I'm saying I mean that I mean like you said this this shit you know what I'm saying you know this topic y'all saying y'all chose to go with the night. It's man, it's 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 way way larger. You know what I'm saying on the scale than what what we, what, what we can even imagine. It, you know what I'm saying where it's at. You know what I'm saying. Like you say now, it's, it, we we've gotten so advanced in technology to where, like you say now, they're telling people, well, we can keep it like this now. You know what I'm saying. Well, if you know, hey, we we can chime in and we can take you know what I'm saying these you know what I'm saying uh, DNA you know what I'm saying strands from you and create whatever you want to keep it going. You feel right. what I'm saying? That's so facts. It, it, it's, 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 it's larger than what, but what you can imagine, you know what I'm saying, eugenic can be, man. I'm like, I say, going, going back, man, like say, you know what I'm saying, you know, if, even moving forward, like you say, uh, Chucks, I mean, you know what I'm saying, they used to, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, they used to, you know what I'm saying, take, take poor people insides out, man, you know what I'm saying, look, look girls out back in the day, man, just because they didn't want them to have, you know what I'm saying, have blood, you know what I'm saying, have, you know what I'm saying? Uh, have kids. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and it, it wasn't based upon their looks. It was just based upon, you know what I'm saying, their economic, you know what I'm saying, situation or what, you know what I'm saying, where they was at, of how they was living back then. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Right. So let, let's let's answer, or, or let's uh, go back to Valencia real quick. She said, uh, this topic, like Mo said, speaking of slavery, some slave owners only wanted the pretty light yellow slaves in the house. Only those slaves were allowed around the quest. Like, um, Mo, I don't guess. think you have met my son in person. Yeah, and that, I don't but, think you've met my son in person, but the guys, but like but Bobby and I have both talked to my son in person, right? Like, my son is on, I like to take a little bit of credit to that, but my son is on a different intellectual level because I allow him to fucking debate with me about shit, right? So, we were talking the other day right, about, about slavery and he was like, oh, nah, they wouldn't have killed me. I was too big. I'm like, no, you would have been a house nigga, bro. Like, right. You would have been right now. Been out in the fields. Like, you would have been a house nigga. Yeah, you'd been a servant. Right. Like, you you wouldn't have been out in the field doing none of that. He probably, probably would have been a bad woman for the, for, the, for, the, uh, for the mass wife, for real, for real. For real. You know what I'm saying? Mm. All, all depending. I mean, you know, and, and and that's when, and that was a part of, you know what I'm saying, where they started getting frustrated, you know what I'm saying, like you say, with, 
mixing the bloodline because, like you say, going back then, the master was sleeping with the pretty, you know what I'm saying, yellow girl that he brought in the house. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? His, his, his daughter was sleeping with the, you know what I'm saying, young house servant running around, you know what I'm saying, that young, that young bull running around the house, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, cleaning up, you know what I'm saying, around the house. You know what I'm saying? She was right. with him. So, you know what I'm saying, you know, they, they got, they was getting frustrated by this right here. So, to keep that from happening, you know what I'm saying, what they was do? Castrate that yeah. motherfucker. Only motherfucker. Get him out of here. The only slave, only slave, oh no, they ain't gonna get him out of there because he served a purpose. You know what I'm saying? That's money. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think about it. Back then, slaves was, you know what I'm saying? That, that was stock. So, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna kill my stock. Yeah. But you ain't gonna make no more yeah, bags in my house. Nah, you know you're a unit. You ain't gonna make no more bags. You're gonna be a unit. You know what I'm saying, but 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 you know what I'm saying that that big strong dark black one that's out in the field. Oh, he got to go around and sleep with that woman. And, you know what I'm saying? Every female slave we got, so he can produce another strong. You know what I'm saying? Male child. You know what I'm saying? And right. if it wasn't the male child, they probably they probably killed a lot of them female babies that came out. You know what I'm saying? Because guess right. what? She can't generate no. You know what I'm saying? No. Them, you know what I'm saying? The same, no, no work. I can't get no work out of her. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I mean, like I say, your topic of choice tonight, bro, it is huge. You can go to a whole... You can, you can go, go anywhere go with it. With yeah, you can kind of go anywhere with this. It's deep, deep. So before... Man, you can run with this, man. I mean... So before we before we go further, right, uh, we have another guest uh, and... and uh, she got some beef that she need to. She got some beef that she need to to air out. Um. So so before before we get to your beef, what's up, Red What's up? What's, what's going, going on, on, fellas? What's up? What's up? <laughs> um. So before we get to your beef, right? Do you remember what clip it was? Because I want to play it. I want to play it before you respond to respond to how you felt about it. Yes, I remember. Um. Okay. Let me see. It, it was the one where Bobby was talking about uh the women, right? Yes. Okay. I think I got the right one. Hold on. I'm gonna bring it up for y'all. <laughs> Less attack bean. <laughs> kind of shit. We weren't even supposed to see that. Right. What the fuck? We ain't uh -oh. know about that. <laughs> Uh oh. What what he supposed to see that? Damn, you, you know being watching. I love you, Bing. <laughs> no, he don't. This proves it right here. No, he don't. Oh he wow. Like, and still ain't pulled up the fucking clip yet. It's just sitting here for all sitting the there. Uh oh. <laughs> He's struggling. Is it not playing on y'all side? No. Nope. <laughs> nope. Is it right there now? Nope. <laughs> Hold on, I got y'all. Y'all just gotta, y'all just gotta taste into our, uh, into our emails. Hold on, I got y'all. I ain't get those emails. Mm -mm. It's in, it's in right. the, it, it's uh -huh. in the emails. I guarantee you. This, this it, are they? Yeah, it is. This is the first I've seen them. I'm pretty sure it's the first ever seen them too. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Right. He needs some milk. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I got y'all. Y'all can see that. We got it. All right. We're going to start from the beginning. Let this play through. Is this the one you're talking about, Valencia, before I keep going? Yes. Oh, no. Can anybody hear? No. No. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I said. <laughs> this is a bear. He needs some milk. He's still letting it play. I can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> What it like? I don't understand what y'all talking about. 
We couldn't hear you it. You don't hear it. You can't hear it. I don't know what the fuck is going on then. All right. Sorry. I don't know. I did my best. <laughs> hey, friend Shay. Okay, let I, I, I know what he said. Okay, okay. Maybe Let's I can refresh there. his memory. Let me refresh his memory. So he made y'all was y'all was having a first ever was, was speaking and then uh, you had brought up something about if um, a man who makes six figures and he would be looking, he would no, no, I think ever said something about he'll. Oh, oh, I think I got it. I have to play it on my phone though. Yeah, the problem, the problem is men starting to be like, uh, yeah, shit like that ain't getting us nowhere. They ain't getting us nowhere. It ain't. They ain't getting us nothing but used and getting called um Simpson. Yeah, getting called Simpson, pussies and all that other type of shit. We breaking our fucking backs trying to make them happy and shit, and all we get is complaints in return. All we get in return is a lot of lip and a lot of um shaming. Right. Y'all so spend this shit. Y'all spend fifteen years. Y'all spend fifteen years calling us thirsty and sense. And now y'all want a nigga to be thirsty and a simp. No, 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 go <laughs> no. do this shit yourself now. It's, it's unfortunate. I mean, <clears throat> the day. so her beef was with, with, with Bobby. So we're gonna stop it at Bobby. <laughs> so now I didn't hear that part, I didn't hear that part. But my beef was when you said, When I said the men of high value ain't looking for them, yeah, and they had and they will rather be dealing with what they what they. What that uh what is the slogan or something about um uh this is the starter kit? Oh the starter kit the starter <laughs> kit four hundred thousand dollars starter kit, come with, starter kit. kit. With? it come with hoes yeah it come with hoes it come with hoes okay home. this is this is where I this is where my mindset is one I agree but then disagree okay okay one, I agree because it depends on what type of man you're speaking about. Because one, four hundred thousand dollars in his account. Uh, well, you can have a man <laughs> that has four hundred thousand dollars in his account, and he could be a miserable ass nigga. He could be still a miserable. Come with holes. They still know it. No, it, it, okay. And if that's what I'm talking about, right there, what you just said, he's a type. That's a different type. He's a type of man. Okay. I don't know if you were referring to at all men or a certain type of man. Because so, a real one. Hold on. Let me get. 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 get. Let me 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 get. Let He's not insecure. He doesn't want or need for anything. He's not going to even subject to himself to be in company with multiple women because he can get any woman he wants. He wants somebody that's going like you said, like like he said, bring to the table. It don't have to be as equal. I'm gonna tell you that. I dated somebody that was that was way above me with money, way above. He didn't give a damn about what I did for a living. He wanted to know if I brought peace to his life. He wanted to know if I can love him. He wanted to know if, what you were talking about earlier, if uh, I know the, the basic essentials, if I know how to cook, if I was clean, how I raised my kids, where my mindset, where my character was. He wasn't worried about no pussy. He okay. wasn't worried about no looks. He won't worry about nothing because all he was worried about all I can, I can give like, you. I can give, give you what you want. Right, right. Any so man with that kind of money can give you what you want. I got, I got. Two. But what I'm I, saying I is, got one that, question. yeah, I got one question and one statement. Right. Um, uh, the reason he didn't care about looks is because you are a beautiful woman. Let's get that out the way. And mm. then two. Look at Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> two. two. Everybody get slapped. What do you what do you consider a real man? Like, what is a real man? Here, here we go. Here we go. Mindset. Okay. Where his mind is at. 
Because a, a man could be in anybody. He could be, don't matter what the looks are, what he, like you said, what you bring to the table. Because you could bring a whole lot to the table, but your mind and your heart is in an ugly place. So that makes you ugly to me. I don't okay. give a damn about what kind of money you got. I don't give a damn about where you live in. I don't give a damn about none of that. You ain't a man to me if your mind ain't in the right place. If your mind and your heart ain't in the right place, you weak as fuck to me. Because I'll run all over you. Okay. No, so that, you, that's, no that's, you have to be a strong to about like, That is your opinion. Because... Who, in, in, in your mind. Okay. Like, like say this. You say where his mind is at, right? Mm-hmm. Well, what if what if in his mind he's doing the right thing and in your mind it ain't? I mean that's just well, that, that's, that's where part. that's where conversation comes in. Conversation and communicating. When a man and a woman are in friendship, let's just say that. We ain't talking about relationship. Let's start off start, start off short. All right. Then they're in a friendship. If me okay. and this guy don't have nothing in common mentally. Why the fuck is we even talking? Why are we conversating? I don't want to be your friend. Because you get free meals out of it. Free meals and dates and shit. No, I don't. That's free, what? That's what? The friend zone, that shit happens. Free? No, no, we no, sweetie. Let me tell you. Uh, what, what, free uh, meals and free food get took uh, out. Mr. 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 Petty Spaghetti. Yeah, fucking. Um, Baby, red, let me tell you something. You know I don't I mean? have a. Don't I don't have a problem with treating men, honey. I don't have a problem yeah. with treating a man out. You wanted a few. I'm, I'm confident in everything. I don't. That same episode that. we had this conversation with talking me. To, I'm, I'm I talking in general. I well, I don't no, know about them. I'm talking to <laughs> Yeah. I don't know so about look, them. Some Valencia, women. Valencia, right? Mm -hmm. There's there's something that we kind of something that we kind of reiterate over and over uh -huh. on this podcast. Keep your motherfucking conversation. Motherfucking self. Yeah, that too. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you um, say? Keep my hands to my Keep your motherfucking hands to your it's motherfucking an inside joke. That, that's something brand Oh, yeah, because I, I speak with my hands. No, no not you. Not Brent, Women no, that hit men. It was I was talking to, a long yeah, time I was talking to I was talking oh. when I said oh. that I was talking to women that hit men. Oh, um, no. We all it, 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 it was a joke from a long time ago. Um, oh, <laughs> there's something that we reiterate on this podcast pretty often, which is. Um, when we speak about relationships and shit like that, we're always talking generally. In general. Okay. Like, there's always okay. going like to be an exception to the type. rule. Okay. There's always going to be a $400,000 nigga that don't come with hoes because he's not looking for hoes. There's always going to be a girl that's not going to take, you know what I'm saying, not going to use a man for his money or for his companionship or for his, or for dinner or for his car or whatever. There's but the vast majority, if a man mm -hmm. has like four hundred thousand dollars in his account, more than likely it comes with hoes. People, they they, okay. gonna, they see he got money, they gonna come up with him after that. I mean, they gonna come after him for that. So, if this is the type of caliber of of person and female, <laughs> if these are type of calibers, there's gonna be nothing. It's gonna be strife the whole type of time. I don't care. It just for me where my mind is that if. I meet a guy or not me, not being me, and that's all he wants from me. I best believe that you ain't gonna, there's gonna be something I need in return. It's like you need this, or I need something else. Right. We're gonna we gonna play I'm that game. We're so, gonna play that. This is how we gonna roll. Some gonna right. get paid, some gonna get put in my pocket, and some gonna be added to. Since you got it, you need to be giving it because it's 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 even get this is a business oh, now. I was just okay, about to and you know what? We, this is the business. Your standards. That's perfectly yeah. okay. So, right. E, you want to respond to E? You want to respond to Franche? She said most women don't mind treating men out, but men don't require it, so women get comfortable and complacent. She's may I speak absolutely to that? right. May I, may Go I, ahead. May I speak to that? Men don't require it because you know why? Because when if we do, we get looked at as suckers. We get looked at as simps. Why you want to take from her? You're supposed to be spending on her. This, that, and the third. We ain't allowed to do that because we get looked at in a certain light. But, but I, need, I need him to put his grown man draws on and quit acting like that. Shit. Treat me. Take me out to eat. God that, damn it. That's I, that's talk your shit, no, come yeah. on, like, come on, I'm gonna need some of these fellas to understand something. Men starting to wake up and starting to reverse the game for real, for real. What? Like, oh shit, we starting to wake up. 
But Franchet's absolutely <laughs> right. Franchet has a point. Franchet has a point. I mean, if, mm. if, if, if you it's, it goes both ways, if you allow this shit, you allow it. That's I mean that go that goes both ways right there, man. That's See, it's all, it's, all, way, you know what it's all for me that I don't expect nothing. I don't expect nothing from nobody. I used to be like that because I'm thinking as much as I give, I should get in return. And I learned the hard way it don't go that way. You can't expect nope. for a man to do nothing from you because he don't have to. He don't have to. He don't have to call you. He don't have to take you out. He don't have to give you none. He don't have to do none of those things. Relationships and are not equal. If and, they're and, not. And people are trying to like they're not. In general, not. generally speaking, women try to force the equality in a relationship and we're not equal. We're not supposed to be equal. Like um actually <laughs> it's kind of funny cuz I'm about to throw this up. Um but I ain't going to read it word for word just yet. Um what I was just about to say is relationships should be reciprocal. Like it shouldn't be it shouldn't be equal, but it should be reciprocal. Like if if this is what I there do you for you, I expect some type of reciprocation. It doesn't mm-hmm. have to be exactly what I did for you. It doesn't have to be monetary if mm-hmm. I gave monetary. It doesn't have to be, like your love language might be different from my love language. Mm-hmm. The way I love might be different from the way you love. You love. We have to mm-hmm. learn. We have to learn each other. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people don't. A, a, a lot of people just don't don't pay attention to that shit like so um alicia who will be featured on um november 20th episode shout out alicia um hey, she came through shout out alicia uh, we, was just says, on, we was just talking on instagram we were dming each other oh yeah that's the only I, I mean come on through so she says relationships should be reciprocal how you treat a person shouldn't be watered down to what a person does for you and exactly. I think that's what the problem is, is people think that reciprocity means that you need to do for you need to do what I did. And that's not how relationships work. And I think going back to something that we talked about um, a, a couple episodes ago, that's what's going on with with um, a topic that I had brought up, like a point that I had brought up um, was the Tom Brady Giselle thing. Cause she, he could have, like, she could have very easily been like, "Well, I quit my job ten years ago. You should quit your job to do what I did." Like, no, I'm reciprocating. Like, this is what I add to this relationship, and this is what you add to this relationship, and this is what I'm gonna do. This is what you do, whatever, whatever. But like you said earlier, it comes with uh, a conversation. That's my slogan. Everything starts with a conversation. Like that's kind of how I run my life. Side note, these motherfuckers on Twitter, on, 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 <laughs> on YouTube is going crazy in the comments. <laughs> I just wanted to throw one of them up. All these bots. Oh, my God. <laughs> Find um, my hot girl. <laughs> Alicia also says, side note, you should expect something from men or women. Absolutely. That is 100% true. Absolutely. You may not know you will fall for anything. Something. No, something. Know, something, yeah, something, yeah. Y'all have to add to each other somehow. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, do y'all got any more beef that y'all wanna y'all wanna y'all wanna squash out, or do you wanna stick around <laughs> and we'll see it for the rest of the episode? No, I didn't have no beef. I did on that four hundred thousand dollars couple of holes. Whether whether he texted him or not is a totally different story. Yeah, didn't say he had to, but it comes with it. They come yeah, they, it, it, it comes a price with that. that. When you are, whether vice versa, whether it's a man or a woman, vice versa, if that's the company that you're entering into your life, expect something that is not going to reciprocate in a way that's going to be pleasant. Because there's, there's nothing going to be pleasant that come out of that. If that's what you're, that's what door you're opening. If you open right. the door, all these is what these I'm a, these all these all these is gonna be some hoes to me, and they don't mean shit. Best believe and be and, and never fails. I guarantee, never fails. A man who has that mindset, he weak somewhere. 
He ain't mm. got enough strength somewhere. Let him run into the right one. But and, so so my retort to that would be um like I've also said on this on on this platform that um I have a very weird relationship with monogamy, even though I'm a happily married man and I have no intentions of cheating on my wife, right? right? I don't believe that humans are built to be monogamous. If I have four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars in my account, like I said, I always relate everything back to a conversation. If I have four or five hundred thousand dollars in my account, I'm going to communicate to the woman that I'm interested in. Like, look, I don't do monogamy. You can be my main or whatever you want to call it, but this is no. how I get down. This is how I get down. And it ain't even got to be like how Bobby said it come with hoes. Yeah, it can come with hoes, but I do, I'm not talking about hoes. I'm telling you that I am not a monogamous man. And a lot of women will take that and be like, oh, okay, I'm cool with that. And then he fuck around and fuck a crazy bitch. And now y'all, y'all up, y'all all in y'all feelings because now she embarrassing y'all on social media or some shit. When I first see, went with there it is. But that you ain't just, my problem, though. That's not, not my it's not my fault that she's crazy. Right. I'm not lacking anything. No, I gave you so, 100 percent honesty from the jump. That's what I'm saying. When you put yourself in a position like that, that's what you're putting to the table and you laying it out like that, you are opening the door to some unpleasant things. And that could be one unpleasant thing, a crazy chick that don't care. You give her something one good time and she all retarded, knocking at your door with a flashlight, talking about somewhere you at. Yeah, that but could if be you, one if you agree to be in this relationship with me, then you need to handle that like a G. Well, as my woman, as my woman, if you agree to my lifestyle, mm -hmm. then you gotta handle that like a G. Right. We talking, you talking about we talking about the other ones, the, the outsiders. If she the main, she get it, she down, she know her place, she know what it is. But it be them other ones, it be one of the other ones that step outside their line. And yeah, but as my man, you still gotta hold it down because you know what the you know what it is. Okay, I know what it is. But you need to keep your mess under control. That ain't my place. I do what I'm supposed to do. That is you your knew, place. That's my main. You if you my, say you my wife, mm -hmm. or you, we've been together 15, yeah. 20 years, and I've been taking care of you and protecting you and providing mm -hmm. for you, and you ain't got to work because I make full $500,000 a year, and we live mm -hmm. in this nice house, and I pay all mm -hmm. your motherfucking bills. Mm -hmm. If a shorty come to our house mm -hmm. acting crazy, you got to keep it a G. You can't be mad at me because you, you entered into this knowing what it was. Okay, so if this is me, you got to be a different type of man for me to even go through that little round. Because I can be down for it. But one thing I'm, I'm going to expect, like we just talked about, I'm going to expect my man to make sure he keep the house in order. If he my head, he, if he's my head, he needs to make sure the house is in order. Because if I'm going to be a part of this, the house got to be in order. I keep it together while he go make the money. I do everything else at home. But anything your outside shenanigans come to the place where I bring peace to you, that's your problem. That's definitely ain't mine. I feel that. I see you over there smirking, E. You got something to say? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> My house, keep your motherfucking no. mouth shut. No. Go back in there and wash some dishes. <laughs> make me a sandwich. Hey, and now I go I, back and make that sandwich. Good girl. Good, hey, good girl. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the house together. Good like girl. I said, don't bring good your outside girl. mess to our home. Good now, girl. when you do that, it's the problem. Don't bring your outside mess where I lay my head. Mm -hmm. Mo, you got anything before we get back on? Uh, <laughs> you got anything before we get back to? Uh, before we get back to uh, eugenics? <laughs> No, nah, I'm just listening in, bro. <laughs> what they said? Who said that, French? That's French. Hey. She said a man has to keep the drama away from the home if that's the situation. Yeah, I, now, that's I what agree. you just said. That's yeah, just I agree. Said. Like, even though I'm yeah. arguing, like, I'm you know definitely what? the. You know what? I'm the devil's advocate, nigga. <laughs> like, I agree, but I always yeah, got to argue the other side. If, if 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 you living like that. The side piece should never know where the young the main house is located at. Come Mo. on now, Mo. Thank you, Mo. 
Come you on, don't you know shit where you eat at. That, Come on, facts, though. You know, facts. Period. I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> if, if you, you live like that. Yes. If you live like that, it's coming to you. Sap, where I lay my head, where 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 my piece of man is located at, mm. sad, you know what I'm saying? Tell the, it. The side pieces are never know where my piece of man is. Not ever. You know what I'm saying? Where should like, they? Like you said, you, you just, you're disturbing the peace now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and now I got to fight you. Where, you know what I'm saying? Where, 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 the, where the main slab is located. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I ain't got to fight you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to sit on your ass. <laughs> These and my shorty shoot. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put this cane course on your ass. Type shit. Yeah, and I got, I'm sure we'll have one. Type I'm sure shit. Good. Sure will. And run well, her thank right you. up out of there. <laughs> right. Run well, her right up out of there and then come and life. check you at the same time. Like, uh, what's she doing here? <laughs> check me <laughs> out. She she where... <laughs> She's not checking me out. Did she leave? I... Of course. If I'm I got four five hundred thousand, my shit might be listed somewhere. You know, that's yeah. public domain. You can find yeah. out where anybody live. Oh my God. You better you better make sure you got a gate around that shit. Uh, For real. <laughs> Gated you community, know, baby. Gated uh, community, if it's listed, uh, 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 it should not be in your name. In the business name. In the business name. You got to put it in the business name. It should not be in your name. Those companies. Yes, you can't sir. take my house, nigga. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not going to sue oh, me. Oh, my goodness. Yes, sir. <laughs> Y'all mess. Well, well, thank you for, for tapping in with us, Relencia. We really thank appreciate you so much. it. <laughs> All right, fellas. Yeah, Why we definitely uh we have to have you on on one of our bullshit episodes. Absolutely. Right. Thank you for tuning in and coming on. All right. Peace appreciate out, you. All right. All right. Where we at? Where we at? Bobby was scared. I saw it in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he needs some milk. Bobby was not ready for that smoke. Yeah, he was like, oh, shit. <laughs> how 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 <laughs> Oh shit! It's okay, Bobby. We still love you. That little shit. That's facts, though. I said exactly. what the fuck I said, and I stood on what I said, and I, I, I meant that shit. Well, where you hit me? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh, I see you got your Pepsi. Oh, oh Bobby. I did. Oh. <laughs> is that the cream soda? <clears throat> the black cherry. The black cherry is my favorite. That's oh, okay. One, that's the one that stays sold out. Well, yeah, because the cherry is trash, so. The, the cherry ain't tra- The cherry is the one that stays sold out. No, you said that's black cherry. I'm talking about regular cherry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Black cherry. Black the black cherry is the one that stays sold out. You can still um, get some sodas. Them, them black cherries be gone. All right. So back to our conversation. We were um right. <laughs> yeah, we were let's get back into this shit. I'm not not trying to be funny, but we were trying to derail from our original conversation. Yeah. Um so we got all the derail on that one. <laughs> we did. Uh, where do where where do we think um back on eugenics really? Where do we think that where do we think that this can be implemented in today's culture, or can it be implemented in this in today's culture? Well, you did. Yes. Go um, ahead. It's, it's already implemented. They, At least they uh, tried. It, 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 it hasn't. I mean, what what they really want to do is build some sort of a superhuman with, I mean, just imagine the athleticism of LeBron, the, the work ethic of a Mexican, the financial literacy of a Asian. I was going to say, a, I was gonna say a little, I was going to say a little hat or a Jew. Um, <laughs> if you could engineer that, that's like, uh, and the mathematic skills of an Asian. I mean that that would be fucking crazy. Um, <laughs> Look at all these generalizations he's throwing out. Stereotypes. <laughs> okay. The, 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 let me let, let me bring you back. They trying to build Captain America out here, folks. How about that? They trying to build Captain America. Nah, for real. Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, you the general public has no idea what really goes on behind these closed doors 
in these laboratories across the world. You'll never know about it because you're not supposed to. There's things going on. If you don't know what MK Ultra is, then mm. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. But Project Manhattan. You people who sit up there and go, oh, the government would never do that. She, uh, all right. The Tuskegee geez. experiment yeah. showed everybody that. Okay, they're doing things oh, and oh, playing oh, with. Twenty one. Listen, I, 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 I don't. I don't give a fuck about your beliefs in God personally. But if you believe in God and what it means to play God, these motherfuckers is playing God. Okay, in a lab somewhere, they they got yeah. your DNA. They got mine. And his and his, and and they are fucking with it, trying to create and engineer the perfect motherfucker so that they don't need you. They trying to create an obedient race of people who do what the fuck they told and don't give no pushback. It's all about control. That's what they want. It, it's control, and yeah. it, it's putting more of what they want in there and, and filtering out the undesirable, uncooperative people. Okay. I can see I can see them really like trying to recreate slavery on some underground type shit. Like recreate like like um use all the best people's DNA, put them in black people or whatever, but then use them as slaves on some underground shit where nobody knows and have them out here uh, working in underground we fields. Already, and shit like we that. already there. I, I wouldn't put it past them. I'm I we can't all, prove we already them. there. I'm, I'm pretty we I'm, already I'm, there. I'm, I believe, I believe it. And, and there's no going back. There is no going back. I mean, I, I, I really hate to take it here and forgive me, but what do you think of all this 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 trans thing? Where do you think this is going? All right, the, 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 those are those are those are lab made ladies. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that, that that is uh. A, a genetic Sur surgically surgically cre created women <laughs> yeah you, you can't make yeah. that shit i'm sorry you can't make them people naturally you need right. you need you need drugs you need a lab you need you need crooked ass doctors you, well, you, you need they you need an crooked. infrastructure they, they to create up. that yeah cuz really if you if you want to pay for it hey i'm, I'm hey i'm i'm, I'm going to perform, perform what you need as long as you're paying the right. for it and that and, and I really and I, right. I kinda wanna I kinda wanna piggyback off of what Mo just said. Like scientists don't have a Hippocratic oath. Like these aren't Ooh, doctors. Yeah. Right. Scientists don't have a Hippocratic oath. So whoever coming with the bag, I research whatever the fuck you want me to. You got a bag, all right, cool. I'm in biophysics yeah. or I'm in fucking biology or whatever the fuck it is. What you want me to what you want me to do? Like they get grants. They yeah, get absolutely. a grant. They get grants you gonna, you gonna to, to, to to go study you shit. Three hundred million. You know what I'm saying? You gonna pay me three hundred million to get, get to, to give you the chromosomes? You know what I'm saying? To, to, to have a to have a a, a a a six foot. You know what I'm saying? Athletic, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Child, here you go. There you go. Go ahead. Well, yeah. You know I mean, plant that seed in you. You yeah, know, you pay I mean, enough money. You I mean, you pay enough money. You you'll cut anybody's dick off if you're paying enough money. Facts. <laughs> Every <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, it, it, it's part of eugenics as well. Don't think this shit, and, and don't let me put the disclaimer. I have no problems with the L with the with the Skittles community at all. Okay, I, but LGBTQ. yeah, the <laughs> rainbow community. What I'm saying is, it, it, it this didn't no, come out of nowhere. No, 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 absolutely not. This, this. No, no. I, this this didn't come out of nowhere. All of a sudden, people want to cut their dicks off. It's being pushed. You don't want to say it, but this shit just ain't come out of nowhere. I, this shit everywhere. You got the, the boys as girls, the, the girls as boys, they cutting their dick off. This shit is coming from everywhere. They cutting their titties off. and they cut their dick off like six times. <laughs> Bro, but you you, you ain't see what the, I'm saying. Yeah, hold on, you ain't see the uh you ain't see the banner, did you, Bobby? <laughs> nah, trigger. <laughs> yeah, <I've seen> that. <laughs> hey, we need to put that up every time, every yeah. talk, bro. Bro, I swear I, to God. I, I listen. This this is a form it's of it, and I hate here, to man. take it there. Yeah, I hate to take it there, but it, it, it's part of it. Like, I 
They can't even define. Did you see the Supreme Court justice? She can't define what a woman is. What? Th that's not a problem. I it's think only a problem. Like, it's only a problem because the people that control society right now are not the people that are in society. Society that's doesn't a fact. Co society that's a doesn't fact. control society. I got like, my we, are governed, we are governed by the outraged. We are governed by the 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 um we're governed by the people that are the, the offended. <laughs> Like mm -hmm. we're not governed yeah. by us. We're not governed by society. Like so, every every decision that we make, every thought that we have, is always up to scrutiny towards the offended and the people that are just like. So, perfect example, right? Tomorrow's Halloween. This Jeffrey Dahmer show on Netflix has went viral, went crazy, all that type of shit, reintroducing a new generation of Jeffrey Dahmer. Mm -hmm. There are kids out there dressing as Jeffrey Dahmer. I had a conversation with my wife earlier today. Mm -hmm. And she was like, I don't understand why people are so mad and up in arms about it, and blah, 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 blah. I was like, baby, listen, if my child was killed by Jeffrey Dahmer and 30 years later, People are dread. Like, not only is there a TV show that's going crazy that everybody loves, now kids are dressing like this fucking maniac for Halloween. I saw that. I'm going to feel some way about it. People are capitalizing off of it. Yeah, like yeah. I'm going to feel some type of way. Yeah, as you should. As you should. Right. But like I don't understand why. And but you know what? The fucked up part about it is. Like she showed me like the the thread or whatever that she had seen, and it nobody none of like none of them were family members of the victims. It was society. Society was outraged. Society was offended. It wasn't the family on these posts talking about how could you and all. No, it was society. Society governs what we do. The outraged and the offended. Big fact. So if you're going to like, just like we talk about all the time with, you know, you know, the trigger warning shit was a joke, but you have to throw that up when you talk about quote unquote sensitive information, because you never know when somebody gets offended or somebody gets like outraged about some shit. Like we all think we have a voice and we all think our voice is powerful, but look at Kanye. Is it like look at is your voice powerful? It's powerful. It's powerful. You know what I'm saying? It's powerful, but you know, you know it's only powerful if day, you can you reach know, people uh, though. It's, it's when you reach people, but also when you touch the sensitive people and let you know you're talking about something that's real though, for real. To be honest. Because yeah, if it's bullshit, ain't nobody gonna ain't nobody gonna speak upon it because it, it, he's just talking out the side of his neck, but if you're talking about right. something that's real that has some value to it, that holds some weight, that's what you know what I'm saying. You know, and like you, you said, it triggers the sensitive that? society, you know, uh and, 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 and make them, you know what I'm saying, want to censor what you're saying and shut you down because of the fact that you're talking on something that you know what I'm saying that, that needs to be talked about. It's a lot of things in society that needs to be talked about, need to be addressed, and we don't address them and we just let them go to the wayside. And it's bullshit, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, yeah. it's like this topic, you know what I'm saying? You chose the night, you know, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying, even you know what I'm saying, you know, when uh when you got you know I'm I think every city, you know what I'm saying, you know, it's is it's, it's racially motivated, but take it even farther back, we practice the shit in our own, you know, in our own communities as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, when, when they choose to have babies by, you know what I'm saying, the light the light skin, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. A uh, wave-headed guy, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Or, you know what I'm saying, you know, guys search for you know, the nice, you know what I'm saying, nat natural, you know what I'm saying, curly hair is natural straight hair. You know what I'm saying? I That's mean, true. It's it's it's, 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 it's it's bigger than just, you know what I'm saying, being racially motivated how, you know what I'm saying, they, you know what I'm saying, chose to go about it then. It's been implemented, you know what I'm saying, like you say, in, in all cultures, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And we mask it with and we mask it with preference. 
Absolutely. We mask it. We mask it with the word yeah, pre- exactly. preference. Like, oh no, I prefer light skinned girls. I prefer exactly. like we always use that word preference when really, like, yeah, any man like carnally, carnally as men, when we go out to seek a mate, it's to reproduce. We don't find you attractive because you're cute. We find you attractive because you might might be somebody that could help our bloodline continue to what we want it to be. Like niggas ain't out here fucking women that just look like whatever. Like everybody got like I ain't gonna say everybody. Everybody that's seen an ugly baby mama or a baby mama that might not be the what you think is your body type or whatever like that. But most most desirable. Yeah, more desirable. Most, but more often than not, more often than not. Even with the girls with like no ass and no shit like that, some of them be having hips. We look for girls with hips, especially yeah. in a black community. We look for girls hips. with hips. We want hips because those are childbearing hips. That's that's a yeah. visual cue for us that you can bear children. Yeah, it's all biological. Like everything yeah. that we do is biological. We just we 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 humanized everything. We're animals at the end of the fucking day. That's a fact. Like we're animals, we act off a carnal instinct, and then for it's, some fucking so reason, programmed. go ahead, mom. It's so much. It's so much. You know, it's, it's somewhat programmed too. It's somewhat programmed into us too as well. You know, what I'm saying it's, it's programming as you know, what I'm saying it's been embedded us. You know, what I'm saying from 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 over time. You know, what I'm saying as well is is what you're saying. You know, and it's, still it's a part of the program. It's been programmed. Yeah, and yeah. It, it and it's programmed, and it's like. <laughs> yeah, there's no going back on it either. It's it's just it's stuck that way. You, yeah, you it's it's there's no way. I don't think you can just reverse it to where all right now ugly bitches get my dick hard. It's it's not going to work that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. You know what I'm saying? You only he, he, he only go forward. Only ever, they're facially <laughs> offensive. Remember. <laughs> I, but you get my point. You yes, yeah, yeah. I'm, you I'm you, you can't you can't backwards this with oh her personality gets my dick hard. No, it, it nah, it's not going to work that nah. way. You it, only go forward. That ass, them titties, you know what I'm saying? That face, we whoop. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it ain't gonna be. You know what I'm saying? She like she came like a mud duck. You know what I'm saying? Got them. You gonna stand up and salute? Nobody. No, Otherwise, no, uh, like she's giving good good FaceTime. I mean, she better give a good spit shine. Well, I, I, I mean, you have you, you niggas who come through and fuck, but you, you don't want to be seen oh, with that in public. Okay, you don't want to be seen with that in public. There's no pride in that. You yeah, can't you be seen with that in public. That. That's why you take it to the grave. You, you, you slide. <laughs> I, See, my yeah, so, yeah. so it, 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 you know, I'm all fair. of this, this whole I'm conversation saying, really brings me back to free will. Like I know we joked do about that. it and all that type of shit, but it brings me back to I'm in the argue mood, don't do it. It brings me back to free will. Like nah man, y'all seen Biggie first baby mama? Yes. No. I haven't <laughs> pull her up, Everett. <laughs> he can't heal his phone. <laughs> uh I'm I'm just saying if you seen Biggie's first baby mama and then you seen when he got some money, you seen <laughs> when he you seen Faith. You know what Faith Evans look like, nigga. <laughs> uh, that first one don't look like Faith Evans. Steven, look no. That 400,000 come with holes. It come with bad shit. You seen Lil Dirk first, baby mama? <laughs> that like, one come, come on now. Like, we only, <clears throat> yo, like, let's keep it a stack, right? We it only, fuck, it, let's it keep it a stack. back to a. It, well, Mo said we practice it on our own in our yeah. own community, like he said. Because we only we only to our we only fuck to our financial status. Mm. We only mm. fuck to our financial status. So we only fucking women that's only making you know sixty, seventy, eighty thousand, fifty thousand. You know what I'm saying? Most jobs, most of, most of America is fucking fifty thousand, fifty thousand dollar a year, bitches. Like no. once you start making more no, money, you. you Go ahead, Mo. Go ahead, Mo. That, now that that goes back to, that goes that goes back to what Valencia was talking about on your mindset because you got motherfuckers out here fucking you know what I'm saying broke broke pretty hoes you know what I'm saying leaving babies in them you know what I'm saying mad at a the motherfucker they got a headache on their t- on their you know what I'm saying on, 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 on their hand in you know what I'm saying so that's yeah. that's, that's that's something totally different right there 
You feel yeah, me? but the, but the just, thing just, that just but that's just, it differentiates it differentiates between the genders because men will fuck down. Yeah, men yeah. will fuck down. Yeah, we'll we marry will. down. We'll do, we'll yeah. do all that shit. Yeah. Women historically don't do that. That's, Women usually that's a, marry that's a, up. That's a, that's a that's a mindset thing, B. That's a mindset thing, B. Right there that you're saying that, that you're gonna that you're gonna marry down. You know what I'm saying? It, even if you gonna fuck down for that's a mindset thing. Cause I'm gonna let you know right now, I ain't fucking with nothing less than me. You know what I'm saying? If 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 you know what I'm saying like 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 all you know, like relationship was saying, if you ain't got nothing going on and and working towards nothing, bitch, I can't fuck with you. Right, but again, Mo. But again, Mo. You ain't with my. Nuts. You ain't with my dick. So listen, listen. But again, that's an exception to the rule. Like you it's might feel that me. way. I might feel, feel that, that way. Everett might feel that way. Bobby might feel that way. But, we are exceptions but, to the rule. The rule is but, men historically but, but, marry but, but, down. Women historically marry up. Well, yeah, I mean that's just how gonna, it is. You, women gonna marry up, but a, a a a a woman still would fuck down because guess what? If the man she married is not giving her the attention, you know, saying that she's a, she's looking for, and a broke ass nigga give her that attention, she gonna get a broke nigga some fucking pussy. She that's facts. Fucking that broke motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So she fuck down. You know what I'm saying? Now she may not marry down because goddamn it, like yeah. you said, at the end of the day, he can't. You know what I'm saying? Give her. Give her what you know, her desires of what she wants, but far as you know, what I'm saying listening to her and giving her attention and, and, and making her feel good about herself, shit, she gonna she gonna take them panties off of that motherfucker and fuck the shit out of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's because women fuck who they want, men fuck who they can. True that, true that, true that, true that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you got a point taken with that. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's it's easy to like women choose who they want to fuck. So they can well, fuck that, down, that, fuck up, fuck sideways. They can do whatever. That, Men gotta fuck that, within their financial go, status. A bitch that's making two, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars a year ain't interested in Brandon. Not for what I'm gonna get. You ain't, you ain't married yet, me. But I can't convince. I can't convince a happy woman. Listen, I can't convince a happily married or happily single whatever. I can't convince her to come fuck me in my X amount of hundred thousand dollar house. You know what I'm saying? And she make she making three, four hundred K a year, five hundred K a year, and she living in this nice four hundred thousand dollar house. I can't convince her to come to the slums and fuck me. Unless yeah, she wants to. She, unless she wants to. I can't convince she her. She's gotta wanna yeah. fuck me. Yeah. Um, I, a, like my thing happy. is I gotta I gotta find out a way to get to, 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 to interest her. Like when you I go mean, into the married shit, I definitely understand you. You know what I'm saying? Because a whole lot of broke niggas is getting some real good pussy off of fucking women that, um, off of fucking women that are in loveless marriages or whatever. Night, French Shay, appreciate you for checking in. Night. Thank we you for you. checking in, French Shay. Thank, thank you. Um, a lot of men will fuck women of thank a higher that. status because of what they are, what they are bringing in. <clears throat> but men, for the most part. We have to work for that. There, there's something that we have to provide. Women don't yes. have to provide anything to fuck up or down. Men have to provide something to fuck up. We can fuck down all day, but we still got to convince the girls that we fuck down to that we worth fucking. Women you ain't know, never got to prove that. Women never have to prove that. Whatever well, say men have to. Uh, men have to be. Women just are. Facts. Yes. Yes. Yes, I will stick by that to the day that I die. I mean, uh, no man goes, oh, my God, her career makes my dick hard. It don't work that way. Ever. It's, it's, it's what she looks like. Women do that. And it's, <laughs> oh, my God, her master's degree. Oh, my God, my dick is so hard. Her master's, her job. I, I, we don't really care about her job. Now, I mean, it Did don't work that way. Did you watch the episode way. of Fresh and Fit? Did you watch the episode of Fresh and Fit that Andrew Tate was on? He was talking about this this same concept, right? So he asked hold the on, girls hold on, in the hold room. On. Hold, on, hold on, let let me finish this because it, it only works that way on the man's side. Now on the women's side, I totally understand why they're not supposed to be mating with um financially Broke. deficient men. I get Broke it because niggas. I mean, yeah, yeah, because 
it's not good for the offspring. Now, they can't make babies with you and live in the car <laughs> because that's not good. That's not good for the offspring to live in the car in the cold. And what they do, like if you wonder why women are gold diggers or after materials, it's to provide for the offspring. Even with women who ain't got no fucking kids, it's for the offspring. You know why we want to fuck a whole lot of women? Because it, it's just to spread our seed. That's what we want to do. We want to spread the nut everywhere. That's, That's what how we're designed to do. We to conquer. Yeah, it's it's all biology. Now there's yeah. varying degrees and shit, but for the most part, that that's what we select. We select for you know your ability to breed and you look good. Women select for strong, for strength, protection, providing, provision, all that shit. Very well, rarely do you see a woman will marry a man because he looks good. It, 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 yeah, men, men will do that shit, but. Women, they a little, they a little smarter than that. They don't just yeah, because we want that trophy wife. There's no such thing as a trophy husband. I... Yeah, I mean, we yeah, when you that, introduce that, that, a enterprise, bitch, no, I'm playing. Nah, for when, real. when I introduce a girl to my boys, they want to know what she look like. When women, right? they say, "What, what do That's he it. do? What do That's he it. do?" <laughs> women say, "What does he do?" I don't give a fuck right. what her job what, is. What I don't got? give a fuck what her GPA. What was. he got? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they don't say is he cute? Do 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 we do we got a beard? No, just what do you, what does pockets look like? Yeah, yeah what what can yeah. he do for you? Yeah, man, so, uh, we just we, we, she got some big titties, she got a fat ass. <laughs> so I want to go back to the Andrew Tate shit, right? And I know all the women hate Andrew Tate, but y'all understand why? But whatever. Um, he was talking about. <laughs> He was on Fresh and Fit, and he asked a room full of women and the host, of course, um, what their plan for their life was. And, you know, they were like, oh, I'm pursuing my master's. I want to be a doctor. I want to be this, blah, 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 whatever. He was like, if you really think that your career is going to, he was like, if you think your career is going to matter in, when you're 55, 60 years old, you're fucking kidding me. Like, he was like, just this past weekend or last month, whatever the fuck the time frame was, he was like, I was, I went to my grandmother's 90th birthday. He was like, I went to my grandmother's 90th birthday and there were 70, she had eight kids and then all of her kids had kids, so on and so forth. He was like, there were 73 sentient beings in that, in that room. It came from one woman. Nobody asked her what her degree of, of of knowledge was, her degree of education. Nobody asked if she afforded another Gucci bag. Nobody asked that shit. So if you think that going after your master's and all that shit, that's cool. Do what you want to do. But in 40, 50, 60, 70 years, when you ain't got no kids and you ain't got nobody to mourn for you once you're gone or you ain't got nobody to celebrate you once you're old, what the fuck are you going to... That, that, that Prada bag is not going to make you happy. Like when I like me personally, when I get 80, nigga, I want to have great gam babies fucking running around talk calling me pop pop or whatever the fuck they want to call me, bro. Like I, I don't even give a yeah. fuck about my career. Like, yes, I want to make money and be able to take care of my wife and my kids and all that good shit. That's cool. But when I'm 80, nigga, I don't want nobody asking me what the fuck I did with my life. I want to enjoy my fucking kids and my grandkids and hopefully my great grandkids. Like I don't want to be worried about, oh, did you get that master's? Did you get this? Did you get that? How many cars you got? What type of watches you got? You got, like, I don't, that shit does not matter. And motherfuckers put way too much stock in material shit. When when you get that L, nobody gives a fuck what you did for, for a job. Nobody cares. I mean, you can make the argument that the degree got you to where you are, but at the, at the end of it, I mean, it don't matter. It don't matter at all. Bro, my granddaddy is in his 70s. I have no idea what that nigga did. <laughs> I have no idea what job he had before he retired. No idea. He's been my granddaddy my whole life. I have no fucking clue what that nigga did. That's sad. You ain't never asked him? Nah, that's another topic for another day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> You already know my relationship with my, with my family. Yeah, I, I didn't even want to ask. I didn't even want to ask. I kind of just assumed it. We're gonna leave like, it oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to uh, move on. We're going to move on. 
We're going to go back to the topic. Go, go we're going to go back to the topic. Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right, I, I have, uh, if none of y'all have a question, I got a question for Mo personally. Okay. He may have already touched on it, but oh. when it comes down to it, <laughs> when it comes down to it, Mo, what <sighs> population control? Mm. What do you think that they're doing right now to ensure that it happens and continues to happen without us seeing it? Or us as in that, black people or us as in our generation? I'm talking about just in general. If you believe that it's happening, what in measures general, do you think that I they're mean, taking? Mm, I got a whole bunch of answers. Wow. Man, do let's see. Well, you can start with the you can start with the food that delivers into the, into the grocery stores in our neighborhood. Uh, you can go to the uh, immunizations that they, you know, what I'm saying, push. You know, what I'm saying, when you go to the doctor for your kids, for yourself. You know, what I'm saying, uh, it's just like like with this whole COVID shit going on, right? You know, what I'm saying, you know, they say, you know, what I'm saying, you got the Moderna, the uh, what's the other uh, shot? Pfizer. Uh, Pfizer. You know what I'm saying. Johnson and, and Johnson, uh, and, and, it, and they took the Johnson, Johnson and Johnson, Johnson make baby shit. I don't know why they in this game, but but I, but I understand this, this this is the answer to this question. So you know what I'm saying? In certain neighborhoods, certain certain areas, certain geographics, you know what I'm saying? Only one only one type of shot is being provided there. You know what I'm saying? When you come down to immunizations, there's so many different types. They you know what I'm saying they're shipped. You know what I'm saying? Certain ones are shipped to. The low income to the ghetto to the hood area okay. versus being shipped to you know what I'm saying Westchester you know what I'm saying Mason area you know what I'm saying uh, the the food that we receive you know what I'm saying that comes well, to the stores like, in our the neighborhood low quality food, the hood, the high quality food shipped to Westchester and Anderson Township exactly. and all that so you know what I'm saying so they've been controlling it you know what I'm saying uh, all this time you know what I'm saying like you said at the end of the day it's just you know what I'm saying we have got, you know what I'm saying, so um, modernized and, you know what I'm saying, so uh, so, dump, so dummy down by, by TV and all these, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know what I'm saying, all these reality shows that we lose focus on, you know what I'm saying, what's, what's really important in life. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Instead of doing your own research, doing your own homework, you know what I'm saying, you know, that they, 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 they don't want us growing our own vegetables at home. You know what I'm saying? Facts. They, they want you to keep going to the store to grow them, you know, so to get them vegetables that they produce, you know what I'm saying, that, that they spray down, you know what I'm saying? That's also why it's so hard to buy land. Yeah, exactly. and, they got, and, and Bill Gates buying point, up all the phones. You know what I'm saying? Point point taken. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, to answer your question, I mean, in the whole, that, that's just to wrap it up real quick for you right there of uh, how they're doing it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't never stopped. You know what I'm saying? They still sterilize, you know what I'm saying, our women. You know what I'm saying? On a daily basis, you know what I'm saying? When they go to the hospital and things like that, you know what I'm saying? Oops, it was an accident. You know what I'm saying? That's why they had to say how you signed that waiver that if something happened, you can't sue, you can't sue you the can't doctor. Sue. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No. Sterilize her. She can't show me that animal. She ain't having no more kids. You know what I'm saying? It's and then so let me let me let me let me piggyback off of Mo, right? Right. Um the same reason. Another way that I think that they're implementing it, he took a shot from the head. Ah, uh, that's my Man. nigga. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, like, not like damn. Well, I don't know what it comes back. <laughs> um, I think another I way that they're you got excuse me, bro. <laughs> uh, Relicia say they're trying to keep us from not repopulating and not wanting us to open our eyes to the truth or how valuable we are. I believe that, and it it kind of yeah. it ties directly into my point, Relicia. So, um, what I believe. Uh, another way outside of what Mo said is the same reason that we have abortion clinics, liquor stores, strip clubs, corner Ooh. stores, all that shit in the hood, Ooh. but none of that Only shit is out in the suburbs. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no Planned Parenthood in Westchester, none bro. Whatsoever. Ain't no Planned Parenthood in Anderson. Like, it's ain't no, ain't no uh, what's the other one? Uh, the plasma places. The plasma places. Ain't no plasma places in the fucking suburbs. Ain't nobody going to give plasma in the suburbs. Like, no. none of that shit exists in their world. That only exists when you make lower than a certain amount of money. 
that's just another way of of population control where it's okay population we don't want because really another, another, like what, what another, it used to be uh, of slavery yeah because what it used to be was we don't want black people black people making more babies so we're gonna put planned parenthood in the hood now it's white people in the hood it's right. asian people in the hood it's middle easterners in the hood it's asians in the hood mm -hmm. so now if you poor we don't want y'all making more babies and you know who got most of the kids in America is yep. poor people. So they got to find a way to get rid of our babies because we are below the proverbial poverty line. Yep. So we got to get rid of y'all babies because y'all making too many of these motherfuckers. And then y'all come to us, the government, to feed them and to, 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 to teach them. To, to do all of the shit that y'all don't want to do or that y'all aren't capable of doing, y'all send them to us. Now this is in food stamps. Motherfuckers getting wet. Motherfuckers getting vouchers for, for, for daycare. The poor people is doing that. This ain't this ain't even a black-white conversation no more. This is a poor versus rich conversation. Poor versus rich. Like I got, I got well, a question. What's up, you know, Bobby? Because, you know what I'm saying, goddamn it, uh, what's the boy Brett Favre, he was getting, you know what I'm saying, food stamps, you know what I'm saying, he ain't poor. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's true. He scammed all that shit to buy his to to build his daughter a volleyball stadium. Nope. You what you about saying? to say, Bobby? I got a question, kind of off topic. You said, you know what I mean, they they using they got to use their money to you know feed poor people and all that other type of shit. You know what? What do you think if if the government didn't have to spend money for food stamps and, and government or assisted housing and all that other type of stuff, what do y'all think they would spend the money on? War. I War. think they would keep building up the defense. Yeah, I think it would. I think it would. I think it would directly go into the uh, to the military. Okay. I think that, that we was, we, that we are the most militarized. We are the most militarized country in the world. We spend more money in military on a daily like the number our number our number one stats it versus the world is military persons of incarceration per capita and broke people and fat people and fat people. There you go. Uh, obese obesity. Yeah. Like those hey, are our top. Hey, like we're hey, number yeah, one in the right. world. We're oh, number I'm one sorry. in the world. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Like right, Bobby, we, um, I mean to take us too far off topic. I just I was just curious about that. No, but right. you know what, Bobby? It's kind of it, it's still kind of on topic though. It's, it's still kind of on topic easy. because there's a reason that we are the most militarized. There's a reason that we're the most obese. Keep other ethnicities out. Yeah, there's a reason. No, I don't even think that's for that. I think that they're building it up to, to a point to where whenever the fuck they want to declare martial law, what the fuck are we going to do to stop it? You ain't about to do nothing. There is no militia big enough to go against the U.S. Army. Other countries can form a militia to go against a tyrannical government. We no longer have that because we can't even come together as one race of people, much less try to fucking Ooh. partner with everybody else in the fucking country to try to overthrow a tyrannical government. We can't do that. We don't have the ability to do that. They they about to take twenty five hundred dollars you know to pay PayPal account, Brent. We just don't have <laughs> right. the, the self aware. You said it. That's misinformation, <laughs> sir. <laughs> they about to take twenty five hundred dollars out your PayPal account, Brent. I've been drinking, you know. I, <laughs> I'm on my I'm on my shit. Like it, it, it's fucking crazy because so many people want to talk about kind of how me and me and Everett was talking earlier, like. So many people want to talk about the, the race war and all that type of shit where I'm not denying that that exists. I'm saying that there's a much bigger war that we're fighting and it's rich versus poor. If you have money and you have access, you are available. You are allowed to do certain things. You are yeah. you, you, you are smacked on the wrist for for a lot of things that we go to jail for. Right. As below the poverty line people. Right. So when when you factor all that shit in, it's not white and black because it's white people in the hood. You know what I'm saying? It's white people that make less than what we make on a regular we're basis. Capital. You know what I'm saying? It's white people, it's more white people on we're fucking capital, on, on food stamps and shit than, than it is than it's us. Look that up if you don't believe me. Google the shit. It's more white people on fucking government assistance than us. 
it's not black and white. It's rich and poor. And if you poor, they don't give a fuck about us. No. They have never given a fuck about us. The only time that they gave a fuck about us is when we were doing right. back breaking labor and we were in those fucking steel mills and we were in those coal mines and we was doing all the fucking work in the world for pennies on the fucking dollar and taking care of our families, two or three families at some point. Like some of us was taking care of two or three families at a time. So that's the only time that they gave a fuck about the, the, the working the working level people. But since then, you don't need to because now you can become a millionaire sitting on your couch. Facts. Like, there is no more backbreaking labor that absolutely has to be done. They fucking computerized everything. Everything. So, why the fuck do we need people around anymore? Let's cut down the fucking population. Okay. Hold on. Let me me throw this up because I'm about to be on some bullshit. I ain't even going to hold y'all. Um, CNBC. CNN, Fox News, it's been all over the fucking, uh, all over the news for the past two months that were they saying that they fumbled the fucking bag on the pandemic. Oh, yeah. On the pandemic, yeah. They fumbled the bag. They fucked up. Yeah. What's new? It's been all over the fucking news. I personally believe these are the thoughts and expressions of Brandon Brewster. I believe that the fucking COVID-19 was nothing but eugenics. It was nothing but population control. It's too many of you niggas in the world right now. Y'all gotta go. Y'all niggas is living to 90 and 100 and 110 years old now. Y'all niggas gotta go. It's too many of y'all. It's too many of y'all. What the fuck do y'all want us to do? We can't keep feeding the whole fucking world. We only... We making fake food as fast as we fucking can, and y'all niggas keep gobbling it the fuck up. That's why y'all niggas is 300 pounds. Get y'all the <laughs> fuck out of here. All y'all niggas with heart disease, all y'all niggas with diabetes, all y'all niggas with heart conditions, all y'all niggas with fucking lung, lung diseases, all you old motherfuckers, get the fuck off of earth. Please. This yeah. that's not that's not Brandon speaking, that's government, but that's what the fuck I think happened. And it ties directly into eugenics because it's like get the fuck out of here like what the fuck like how long are we supposed to believe that the government has our best interests at heart how long are we supposed to believe that people still believe that fucking fool you keep on believing that Bufaro says it's black and white then rich and poor black people would have same resources if it was otherwise Mm -hmm. I believe I kind of believe that yeah, because I, I, I yeah, don't, you I got, don't. You got a valid point. Uh, uh, you would have to erase all of American history to do that, though. That's why I think that it's. That's why I think that it's not true. Because for for it to be the flip side, I don't think that. I don't think that. In the current, like, we were forced to come here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If we were, if we had the power, influence, and structural integrity that the the, the white community has. We wouldn't be in America. We'd still be in fucking Africa living our best lives. So I feel like that is that that's one of those things that just couldn't or wouldn't happen because we wouldn't fucking come over here. Why the fuck are we going to look for other shit when what we got is great? We ain't fighting against a tyrannical government. We ain't trying to get away from a, a, a crazy queen or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying the Britain, British was looking going away from. We don't have to do that. We was already living our best lives, and then motherfuckers came over and took us. Like, we didn't choose to come over here. And if we chose mm-hmm. to come over here, and then we got the same privileges and resources that white people had, I don't think that it would be the same way around. Because, in general, black people are very forgiving people, and we are not very vindictive people. So, we would try to fuck around and figure out how we all could live in this country without the fucking the, the, the walls of racism. Like, I honestly think that that's what would happen yeah. if, if we were able to, you know what I'm saying? Bobby, are you logged in as an ad man? Brother, you know what I'm saying? Am I what? Are you logged in as an ad man? Ad man? Oh, so no. you can put the... Oh, okay. All right, well, I got to go piss real quick. I've been drinking too goddamn much. I'll be back. All right. <laughs> 
Well, you know what I'm saying? Touch what he just talked about as far as, you know what I'm saying, with, uh, with the COVID shit uh, and how it, you know what I'm saying, ties in with eugenics is, if you know what I'm saying, you remember back when it first came about, they said that it was, you know what I'm saying, it was, it was mostly affecting the African-American community the most. You know what I'm saying? Because it was developing gear to, to attack that melanin that was inside of us, that, that trait that we carry. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it was attacking us a whole lot more and pitting us, just and taking us out in ways as it, as it was doing because of that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, when it first came about, you know what I'm saying, when it first dropped, my thoughts was it's it's chemical warfare. It's, it's, bi- it's biological warfare. You know what I'm saying? They, they, it ain't, this, this is the test run. They're running this right here as a test to see how quickly it, you know what I'm saying, it works and how fast, I mean, how big of an area that, that they can target it with and take as many, as many people, to take as many of us out as they want as quickly as they can. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's just, that's just my thoughts of, of, of what Brandon was, you know what I'm saying, touching on when, when, he, when he went to the COVID-19 thing with the eugenics right there. To I, piggyback I, I, off what you said, go ahead, Bobby. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go to, ahead. Well, to kind of, well, you were going off what Brandon said. To piggyback off what you said, Mo, I, I wholeheartedly agree. And also, I think it was a test to see how much of society is going to cooperate with these um, mandates that they put in place. Like, who's all going to cooperate? I mean, you had everybody wearing their face condom. Everybody. You, you had people... I mean, think about it. So many businesses and shops and mom pa stores are gone. Just, I mean, well, think about it. Stay in the house. Don't come outside. It's the boogeyman. All of you motherfuckers no, did it. No. So, no. So, 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 you know, so the, 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 to touch on that, it also came about with the vaccine shot for it. How many of y'all going to go out and get this shot? Now they got a record of everybody there that went out and you know what I'm saying they got that shot right now. Yep. Everybody. Every single person, human being, you know what I'm saying? They went ahead and said, fucking let the kids because we want to keep a track of the kids too. Let's see who all got this, you know what I'm saying? Who all went out and got it. So now, you know what I'm saying, it comes down to okay. So when, when, when we relaunch this shit in an upscale fashion, oh, we're gonna we're gonna attack the melon. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna push. If we're gonna push the vaccines in the black community, but the vaccines, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna kill them instantly. It's just gonna mm-hmm. make them develop cancer or some type, you know what I'm saying, and take and take them out another way. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it it's it like like I said earlier, they ain't never stopped with eugenics. You know what I'm saying? They ain't never stopped with it. You know what I'm saying? The no. racial side of it, they it's, it's, it's never been eliminated, it's never stopped. They just they've just, they they've just modernized it, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying to, to the day and time that we live in now. And they and they're gonna continue on doing that. So with the you know what I'm with the whole COVID thing, they created mass panic, you know what I'm saying? That that's the way you that's one way to you know what I'm saying to get control out of people is, is to create mass panic. And we got people yeah. to cooperate. You know what I'm saying? We got them to listen to us. You know what I'm saying? They they stayed in the house when they were supposed to. They came out when they you know what I'm saying when they was allowed to. We had a few knuckleheads, cool. But a whole lot of them ran out and got this vaccine because we said it's going to keep them safe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's going to keep you they safe if you go get the vaccine. And, yeah. and, and, and this came off of a test, some testing that was only less than, a, less than six months old. How the hell y'all run yeah. clinicals off of some six, six, six months and say it's, it's good, it's worth? I, no, I wasn't. had a problem. I had a problem with you can't sue. You can't sue. I had a problem with that. You can't sue if some shit go wrong. That's yeah. a red flag right there. Yeah. Is it a red flag or have we been? Yeah. Is it a red flag or have we been brainwashed into believing that um, immunizations are just here to help us? Because nobody's asking the flu or had, nobody's asking to sue over a flu vaccine. Nobody's asking to sue over a TB vaccine. Nobody's asking to sue over a, a smallpox or a fucking chickenpox vaccine. Like, vac- like we take so many vaccines up until the point to where once you get into a mindset where you like, damn, what are they putting in these vaccines? You already got 18 years worth of fucking vaccines. 
Nah, man. Well, they, they, they made that are, shit in already, two weeks. You already, your DNA already been modified. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Exactly. By, time, in two weeks. by the time we get to the point to even ask that question, E, like, damn, I can't sue y'all. By the time you get smart enough to ask that question, you already lost. They they made it. They went home last night and made it and just said, hey, it's safe, but if something happens, yeah, but, you can't but, sue. But E, it works. You are in your you are in your thirties, bro. There are five and six year old kids that don't understand what the history of the government is that took this vaccine. So by the time that they're in 30 years later, when they're in your position, they already got 30 years of boosters. They already got 30 years of the COVID vaccine, the flu vaccine. You got to take a TB every 10 years. You got to take this every five years. You got to take this every two years. They already got so many vaccines in them that even if they wanted to sue, what the fuck are you going to sue about, nigga? We already didn't did what we needed to do to you. You got I 18 think, years of having to listen to your parents. We, are, we already you modified. when and where that you got to go to the doctor. And they control what the doctor puts in your body. So by the time you in your 30s, it's like, yeah, I, you know, I don't believe in the COVID-19 vaccine, blah, 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 blah. That's cool. You ain't got to believe in it, nigga, but we already got 18 years of sticking you with whatever the fuck we want to. We want to stick you with. You're right. We hey, we're, we're not going to know the effects of this to years later. It's like the Tuskegee shit. You go find out what's up in about 40 years. Right. Yeah, but the problem with that is the problem with that is is there something wrong with, like, you know me, I got to be devil's advocate, even though I agree with everything we're talking about. How can you link that directly back to me giving you this immunization? In 40 years. How can you link that back to just, 2020? Just like the uh, the, uh, the uh, fucking uh, Tuskegee uh, experiment. Somebody gonna, somebody gonna link the documents about it. Yeah, but that it's, didn't it's take 40 years. Yeah, it but that didn't take 40, 40 years. years. I'm just it didn't take 40 years, I'm saying that, but it, like you said, that was just a, that's just a number you go out there 40 years. It may, it, it may come out in the next, you know what I'm saying, next five or 10 years, you know what I'm saying, like you just said. You know what I'm saying? They was they just now reporting that, you know what I'm saying? They dropped they the ball up. on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They fucked up. So so how long is it gonna take for them to come out and say, you know what? We fucking played all you dumb motherfuckers. Hit ha ha. You know what I'm saying? Ha ha, we got you. And then even you when they do thing, you guess what? As long as it takes um uh, um classified documents to become unclassified, how long that should take? Like fifty to seventy years or something. Yeah, like some that, longer them. than longer than they'll they'll, they'll repeal that, and change it soon, because that original time was set for the lifespan of that time. So in the sixties and seventies, yeah, let's make it let's make it fifty seventy years, because niggas ain't living that long. Now, like when they redo that shit, it's gonna be like a hundred years before that shit becomes. Fucking unclassified because Probably. niggas is living longer and longer and longer. I just gotta throw that out there. The Tuskegee experiment was forty years exactly. Damn. So uh Relencia says one of my family members don't allow nothing that their sons and daughters doctors give them. She does everything natural based. She doesn't do any type of vaccines, medicine. She uses herbs and other natural things. I'm with I'm with holistic, I'm with holistic healing. I'm with it. I just don't know enough about it to implement it in my household. So I let my children decide if they want the flu shot or not every year. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Like even with the way that I think, like well, Brandon, I, you can educate I, yourself on it. Well, yeah, I will. Like my problem is, I don't want to say my problem. My thing is, um, and I'm not gonna take us on it. I'm not gonna take us on the tangent that this is creating, but. I don't have anybody to talk to as far as being a dad and what the fuck I like how implementing your beliefs and your way of thinking on your kids. I don't have anybody to talk to for that. So everything that I'm doing is off the cuff. So I'm always struggling between what do I try to get my kids to believe and what do I let them believe by their own accord? I always struggle with that. And my kids are intelligent enough to tell me what they believe and what they don't believe in. So I kind of let them make their decisions. You know what I'm saying? 
Like y'all have talked to Tyler, so y'all already know where his mindset we is. A, yeah. We we gonna we gonna we gonna talk, B. We gonna talk. I, I, I got a problem with that. What you just Yeah, said. I know. Oh, uh, we can air it out, G. I got a problem. <laughs> we with we gonna talk. Shit on the pod. What's up? Let's we go. Talk. We go Let's talk. Go. We, Let's go. We go. We go talk. No, you know what I'm saying. The fact that he just said that he doesn't have anybody to talk to, you know what I'm saying. That right there is you know what I'm saying. So under undermined it, man. You know what I'm saying. You mean to tell me you know what I'm saying? Ain't, how old are you now, B? Thirty four. Forty. Thirty four. Thirty four. So you mean to tell me you know what I'm saying? In the last you know what I'm saying, in, in the last eighteen years of your life of being you know what I'm saying, being an adult since you didn't had kids. You ain't ran across no man, you know what I'm saying, in, in that time span that could get you some advice that you couldn't speak to? I've ran into a few. I've ran into a few. I ain't even going to hold you, Mo. Um, I, I got I to kind of agree with Mo there, Brandon. It's kind of insulting to the people you talk to to say that, bro. So you listen, gotta, listen. You got PO7. You done had us for years. You listen. call me on a regular basis and talk for like three hours. Yeah. yeah. So listen. So listen. Um. How how long? My how long my. Been together? The the way for nine years Eight almost. Years? Nine yeah. years almost. So far, so so almost for almost a decade, bro. I mean, yeah. at, at the end of the day, just like you do this podcast on a weekly basis and network and communicate and talk about topics. You mean to tell me you ain't had a brother that you can pull together and say, "Hey, man." I need some advice as being a father. Come on, bro. You can't. You can't do that. That's hypocritical, my brother. So and listen, I, 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 I'm I, I'm a, but I gotta agree with Mo on that one, bro. You got people yeah. in your corner. Saying, you got brothers I'm with kids. That because I love you. you know yeah, and, and it's not like I've people. had. So look, I've had conversations with a lot of my male friends about parenthood, right? About parenthood, how to talk to your kids, all that type of stuff. My problem comes is I have been let's make it a therapy section. Fuck it. Um it sounds it sounds like, been, like, like you saying you talk to motherfuckers, but eh, these motherfuckers, eh, they stupid. They not they, even they, that. No, like, not they, even that. They, I've, I've been, been, I, I've been so stupid. I've been so disappointed by some of like a good amount of the men that I've opened up to. Like, you know what I'm saying? Off, off camera, me, you, and Everett have had conversations about how I really feel about my pops, right? Yeah. About my daddy issues that I have. I've had that same conversation with a good amount of people in my circle. In whatever my networking circle is, I've had that conversation with a good amount of men, and I've been disappointed to the point where I've been disappointed time and time and time and time and time again. So when it started with my pops disappointing me, and then I started getting into the men that I, I not necessarily idolize, but the men that, that I respect and the men that I expect their opinion and I expect the way that they live their lives. And I feel like they can give me, <clears throat> excuse me, when I feel like they can give me information that's going to help me along my journey as a parent, when they disappoint me, that information becomes null and void in my head. Because of my issues with my pops, to. but it be, it be, it starts from the the like that's where, that's where my problem comes is because how many more niggas am I gonna talk to where now you didn't gave me bomb information that I've implemented with my kids that I've implemented in being a man, but then now we fall out or whatever or you be on some fuck shit and you, now you didn't disappoint in me and now I feel like everything you told me was bullshit. How many more times do am I supposed to do but, that but, but, before I you know what I'm saying before I implode? But you can't take, you know what I'm saying, just because they let you down. People gonna let you down. Your kids gonna disappoint you. You know what I'm saying? Your, your, your children gonna disappoint you at some point in time. You know what I'm saying? Maybe at some point in time in their life, in your life. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just like you know what I'm saying, like well, when people say you read the Bible, right? The Bible got it's good and it's bad. You know what I'm saying? It, it got the truth and it got the ugly in it. It's truth and the lies in it. So when it comes down to it, B, if somebody's giving you some good advice, just don't dismiss what they didn't gave you 
because it ain't it did something stupid. You know what I'm saying? Because well, see, I don't dismiss you. it. I try to implement it. It's just after they do fuck shit, I second guess everything that I implemented. Like, damn, was that good advice or was he bullshitting the whole time? Well, when you implement it, what was the results that you got from it? Was it good, good, good results? Maybe 60-40. 60 40 good. good. I get it. And and, and 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 I get that because guess what? At the end of the day, it's a part of being, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a part of life, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Ain't none of us perfect. This shit, this shit, you can't read no book on it and, and, and say you got it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Be, being a father, be, you know what I'm saying, be, being the man, this you this shit there ain't no book for this. You know what I'm saying? You can you, you can't go take no test for this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's Facts. it's it's a it's a learn as you go process. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like you said, I've I've met you know what I'm saying? I can't remember which which one of your boy you know your kids if you brought them to the job before. You know what I'm saying? The, the this, tall one? The, probably so. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have you have both your boys with you. you have, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I can say this. Just off just off of that meeting them that one time, you do a good job as being a fucking father, my brother. You know what I'm saying? So don't never fucking take that from yourself, dude. You know what I'm saying? From what I seen from you, you know what I'm saying? When you with your kids versus when we at the you know what I'm saying, when we at the job kicking it, you know what I'm saying? You separate the two. Like you supposed oh, yeah. to, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Got to. Don't 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 degrade yourself feeling like you know what I'm saying you know you ain't doing a good job in life, bro. You're doing a damn good job. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know some of the history. So you you're doing a damn good job. Don't question yourself about it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if you keep questioning yourself, bro, you will never grow to where you want to get to. Keep practicing, keep doing what you're doing, long as working, you know what I'm saying, and keep rolling with it, bro. Everybody else, I know people who ain't who ain't had a father in their life and doing excellent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm doing excellent what they get. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, treat your kids the way that you wanted to be treated, you know what I'm saying? And, and roll with that, bro. That's my that's passion. my whole that's my whole that's my whole slogan, right? So um I don't, I don't know how many uh I don't know how many episodes yeah. you've caught up on, but um me and Bobby very, you know. Uh, for a short time, talked about me going, um, going to trucking. What he's doing, and I explained to him why yeah. I couldn't, why I couldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because of my responsibilities right. at home or whatever. Also, the reason why I'm working third shift right now is, you know, what I'm saying, so I don't miss out on certain things Sacrifice. and shit like that. Sacrifice. Yeah. Sacrifice. So, exactly. I get like, it. I get my it. whole mindset right well, now, wonderful. like my whole mindset play. at 34 years old is nothing but taking care of these kids, being a good dad and a good husband. A good husband first, because these kids going to leave me at some point. But something that I've said True. early, early in the pod, right? Um, I don't ever want my kids to look at me the way I look at my pops, ever. And I'm doing everything in my power, so that does not happen. At this point, they won't. They, they, know, they know better. They know better. Right. Yeah, you ain't gotta worry about that at this yeah, point, bro. bro. Unless you start like intentionally fucking up, like wow, the fuck you... out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, as long as you keep doing what you're doing, <laughs> you know I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure your kids will understand the sacrifices you make for them and all that, bro. I mean, you ain't gotta worry about them looking at you like you look at your dad. You there for your kids? You yeah. you present? You there every day? We sucker father, motherfucker. Yeah, for real. Yeah, worry about that. <laughs> You know what I mean? right. Dance father now, right? Dance father? Yeah. Natalie started dance last week. See, look, they know better. So, yeah, yeah you ain't got to worry about that at this point, bro. Yeah, I mean, it was just, you know, I don't know how the fuck we got on that, but yeah, you know I'm saying it is it, is one of those things with me. Like, that's something that I take personal. Like, I, I don't ever want to be in a position where, like, I feel it. It's a fear. Like, yeah, um, man. Like, um, and I don't want to, I don't want to, to answer you directly, Mo, I don't want to bring somebody into my psyche giving me advice and then it backfires on me, bro. Like, that is one of my other biggest fears is listening to a nigga that got more seniority than me and his dad shit 
and that I recognize as a good dad, because for me to recognize you as a good dad, it takes a lot. It don't take just being there. It don't take just showing up. It don't take like I got to see you in the hospital with your babies. You know what I'm saying? I got to see you curled right. up in the bed with that motherfucker. I got to see you and you know what I'm saying off shots. I got to see you at the zoo. I got to see like I got to see so much for me to even think that you're a good dad. For me to invest in you and to ask you advice and it backfires on me, that shit will zone me the fuck out to where it's like, nigga, I don't even want to be associated with you no more. Because I see what the fuck you want. Brandon, I got to right. stop you right That's a chance you take with something with, with taking somebody's advice. Because at the end of the day, everybody's different. What works for one motherfucker, you know what I mean? It might have worked for them and they might have had the best intentions, but it might not work for you the same way because you and your kids and your situation is different. So that's a that's a chance you take by taking advice. Everybody's different. And you know I mean, yeah. if, even if you know I mean, it does backfire on you, that doesn't make that other person like a bad bad father or something like that. It's just the situations didn't match up. No, I would I would never I would never call another man a bad dad because I mean, of I, I, the, I the advice. Like I wouldn't even look at you no different as a as as a bad dad. I would just reinvent. Like I'm warped. My my th- my thinking is warped because I would think that, like I said, uh, I'm traumatized from my childhood. So it's like if you say something to me and it doesn't pan out, I think you lied. That doesn't necessarily mean that though. It doesn't. Right. And it's a trauma. And it's, you know, it's a very bad characteristic to have. But if you give me advice and it doesn't pan out even close to the way that you said it, like, okay, well, you know, you either going to have a negative or a positive response. I had one nigga tell me, like, look, it's two responses going to come from this. It's going to be negative or positive, which is with any advice that you give somebody or that you receive from somebody. It's going to be a negative or a positive. And the two negatives, the one negative and the one positive that he gave me, it was nowhere close to that. Like, it was far left as a negative. As a dad, and I was like, damn, bro, like, okay, what did I learn? You know what I'm saying? Like, I always want to be like, all right, what did I learn from it? Could I still use it? Could I adapt it? All that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm an intellectual motherfucker, so I try to, you know what I'm saying, overthink shit. Not overthink, but I try to think through shit before I just make, you know what I'm saying, random accusations. But if I come to the point to where I'm like, damn, bro, like, this didn't help all it did was, was hurt, and there's no right. silver lining in that advice that you gave me. I feel like you lied to me. Yeah, that's 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 something. That's something. That's, that's deep. That's deep. trauma. That's deep. That's trauma. Yeah, that's, that's what deep, that is. Bro. That's trauma. Yeah, that's deep. It is. So it is because you know what I'm saying. It, 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 you know it. It goes to how, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we all don't parent the same. We all don't right. live the same. So something that works for you may not work in my household. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? So, and it's also your your deliverance. You know what I'm saying? Like they say, it ain't, it ain't what you say, it's how you say it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? As well. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like I told you, my best advice I can give you, man, is the shit that you said yourself. You know what I'm saying? You trying to, you know what I'm saying? You trying your best to make sure, you know what I'm saying, your kids don't experience what you experienced through your childhood. And that, as a father, is the best that you can do, bro. Anything outside of that is you Superman then. You know what I'm saying? And be that for your kids. You see what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? You know, really, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, you know, like I said, the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? That what, what, what touched me was, like you said, you felt like you ain't had nobody that, you know what I'm saying, you know, that you can that you can talk to. We can talk, but, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me personally, right, I don't never place myself, you know what I'm saying, in a, in a way to make somebody feel like this is the way you should do things. I'm going to tell you what, this is how I would approach it. But I'm going to let you know. Like, look, at the way I approach it may not be the same way that you, you know what I'm saying, you need to approach it. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Or look at it from this perspective or from this perspective You at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? 
and that's what fucked me up is because a lot of the advice that I got, I got in my twenties when I was young and stupid and impressionable. And I was just listening to niggas cause they was more senior than me. And I respected them as men and as fathers. And I was early in the game. Like my son about to be eight. Yeah. Like my son's 17 years old, bro. Like the shit I got to talk to him about is way different than I had to talk about him 10 years ago. Hell yeah. Shit. You should have had that conversation. Motherfucker got them in four years ago. God damn it. When he dropped. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause hey, like you say, that, that conversation hit different when I had to go talk to my son. Like, hey, let's let you know, come on, let's take a ride. We gotta have a we have a, we got, let's go have a talk. We gotta go sit down and talk, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause it's different. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, at the end of the day, the conversation me and my pops had wasn't well, nothing like this conversation I had with my son. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It was different. Even even the you know even saying? the sex totally conversation. Like you know I had the sex conversation. We started that conversation when he was nine years old. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the, the conversation exactly. I got, like it was it was exactly. just a crazy it was a crazy the situation. Twins are eleven, and I'm I'm thinking I gotta have that conversation with them too, and I'm dreading it. Yeah, like the early, like what I did find out though, don't, at least for you know what I'm saying, like my my situation. What I found out is the earlier you have it, the easier it is to have it when they start getting interested in girls because they already know what questions to ask, they already know what fears are, or what fears may come. They already know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I taught my kids about, like, I taught my boys about periods when they was 11, 12 years old. You know let, what I'm let, 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 me, let me reply to Mo real quick, because I heard right. him say don't dread it. The, it, it, ain't, it ain't that I dread um, having having a conversation with them. I'm, I'm comfortable with that, using the, with the, um, with the um, wording and all that. The, the thing that bothers me is that we have to have the conversation so early. I, that's that's what that's what you uncomfortable with it. You uncomfortable with it? Yeah, I want them to. I want them to stay innocent. They eleven years old. They shouldn't be thinking about this type of shit yet. Yeah, I mean that's my only problem with it. That's my only problem with it. I mean, if, if 13, 14, 15, Yeah, I mean when they starting to hit puberty and all that, all day we we can talk. That about was this cool. Shit. That was cool for us, but. Yeah, but times change, and yeah. I know, I know like that. sex, like sex is sex is incorporated in everything now. Man, like, they, bro, they, 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 wait, they fuck, they fucking in middle school now, bro. Yeah, they, they, they exposed, yeah, they exposed to it in elementary school, my G. You know, what I, I'm I know, and that's the part that's fucking me up. That I, I, I'm, I'm trying my best. That's how I'm. That's that's my only problem. I'm trying to get over that part of it. Yeah, you know I mean. Uh, it's so I can say this to you, B, from from my experience, you know what I'm saying? I, I got I got three fucking grown kids, you know what I'm saying? My my youngest, you know what I'm saying, he'll be 18, you know what I'm saying, in, in January, bro. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations. And, yeah, for sure. And what I've learned, man, over the years, man, you know what I'm saying, that you know what I'm saying, and it's going back to you know what I'm saying, what you know what I'm saying, said. You know what I'm saying? And I'm 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 a whole key to this, man. Communication in any and every relationship is a key fucking factor, man. Yeah. You know and saying? not just communication. What a, what a lot of people don't understand is it's not just communication, it's comprehension. Because I can talk to you. I can talk to you. And having an understanding. Yeah. You know Seeing things from their eyes, seeing things from their perspective, you know what I'm saying? Allowing them to speak freely and say how they feel, you know what I'm saying? You feel yep. me? That sh- man, that shit right there will build an everlasting bond between you and your children, man. That can nobody destroy, man. And I'm saying this from experience, bro. And that's what you I'm what looking I'm forward saying? to. You know what I'm saying? Don't yeah. wait to have that conversation with him. You know what I'm saying? Have that conversation with him. Let, let him know, hey, you can come talk to me about this. Oh, he got you know twins. He got to do it. He got to do it to two of them at once. A boy and yeah. a girl. A, a boy and a girl. And, and, that, and that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Y- y'all, and guess what? We're going to have this conversation together, and then we're going to have one one on one with each, you know what I'm saying, separately. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's what it is. I'm saying, you, you, got to, you got to communicate. Talk to them babies, man, and let them babies know that they can come tell you anything because, man, 
I'm telling you, man, I've seen some shit in my time, bro, that blew my mind what was going on with somebody else's children. Like, is you fucking serious? Because guess what? That child felt like they couldn't go talk to nobody. So they were right. suffering inside. That's why you see these kids out here fucking killing themselves, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why these kids walking around lost out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because they feel like they ain't got nobody they can come talk to. You know what I'm saying? That you ain't going to listen to you, that, that you ain't going to hear what they got to say. You know what I'm saying? That you ain't going to respect what they got to say. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? At the end of the day, I, like, I was taught, man, as a kid, man, as a human being, we all deserve respect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, don't come, it, don't, it don't come on no age level. You know what I'm saying? I had a situation in school when my, when my pops came to the school and told my teacher, you got to respect him. Even though he's a child, he's still a human being. You got to respect him. So at the end of the yeah. day, if he feel disrespected, that's how he gonna act, that's how he gonna act that's how he gonna act towards you. Yeah. You know Even though he's a child, respect my child. Yeah. Just, right. just like you want him to respect you, you gotta respect him. And you know I, I'm starting to I'm starting, starting to have that conversation, conversation with. Wait. Yeah, I'm starting to have a conversation with my oldest now with Tyler, because you know what I'm saying. Like I said, he's 17. He'll be 18 in in, in August. You know what I'm saying? And we already discussing, like, all right, what you want to do? Right. He was like, all right, well, I want to go to UC, but I want to stay at home. I'm like, all right, cool. I was like, when you turn 18, things change. I was like, there's a different respect level that me and you are going to have with each other, that me and me and your mom are going to have with you, and then a whole different one that you and your mom are going to have. There's going to be three different respect levels that you have to, that we both have to govern ourselves over. Because me and you, now you're a grown-ass man. Right. I'm not going to have to, I'm, I'm not going to, like, I'm going to remind you of stuff, but I shouldn't have to tell you to do anything now. I'm preparing you for when you move out of my house. I'm not preparing you for what you're going to do in my house. I'm trying to prepare you for what the real world is. Your mom is going to prepare you how to negotiate and how to move around women. Like, I'm not going to teach you that. I'm going to teach you how to move in you, a fucking you, room full of men. You too. You too. Toby. Well, yeah, yeah, what? but on a different you, you, on a different well, level though. On a different, on a different yeah, level. I get that. Yeah, I get that on different. Yeah, you're right. Like, yeah, you're but right. I'm gonna teach you the bulk of the bulk of my responsibility, and you know Jay got a quote for everything. Hold on, hold on. I had to throw this up there because I missed it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we, did, we he said that shoot, earlier. he we always said shooting that. his shot. He always shooting a shot. Guys, um, we're being at. I don't know where being at. She dipped out. Um. Oh uh, shit! Where was I? Oh, um, with Tyler, like what? What? The bulk of my, the bulk of my mentorship over my child is like I heard. That's where I was. The J quote. I want to teach you how to move in a room full of vultures because that's what the world is. It's a room full of vultures, and all they want to fucking do is eat you alive. So I need to teach you as a man. And much less, I have to teach you as a black man. It don't matter that you're bise- biracial. I have to teach you how to move as a black man because the world That's and society is going to see you as a black man. They don't give a fuck what your color your mama is. Nigga, you resemble a black man, so I have to teach you how to move like a black man. You, like, you got any melanin in you, boy, you black. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You, you, can be mixed with, you, you can be mixed with anything. If you, if you got any melanin in you, Guess what? You consider an uh, African American, a Negro, a nigga. Facts. Come on, Relicia. Hit that do, link again. However they want to do the shit. <laughs> oh, hey, Bing, how, baby. However they want to do the shit. Hey, Bing. We ain't heard from you in a minute. Yeah, Bing been, yeah. been quiet this episode. Come on, Relicia. Bing been quiet. You you see your man out here shooting shots? No, man, he definitely out here shooting. Oh, wow, Bobby. Like that Curry is not here. cool. That is not I, I cool. Knew what I, I, that's why that, uh, yeah, oh, I, I knew it when I fine. said it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nigga, you're looking like Steph Curry out here. Oh, oh, my, my, bad, my bad. My bad. Yeah, oh, man. Wow. It, 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 hold on. Ooh. Let's welcome let's welcome Relicia back. What's up, Relicia? What you got? I hate it. She let don't me, change let, let me. <laughs> I just came from the store, y'all. So let let me say this. One thing I want to say to you, hey, Relicia, the leader of this, turn, turn your volume down so you don't echo any of your mic. Can you? Turn the is that better? Your phone down. Turn the echo. Is that phone. better? Yeah, yeah, that's better. Okay. One thing I want to say, like I've been saying in the comments, I applaud you for everything that you're doing and that. everything that you're accepting for yourself as a man. 
Now, the reason why I want to join this conversation is because when I said in my comments is that my son, he's now in the Navy serving our country. You hear me? And my son had that same mindset like you. And what us as parents don't understand and what I had to do is a difference because I'm a woman and all of y'all are men. But I'm a single mother raising a son by myself with no father figure in the picture. So doing the fact that I can't be a man and I can't teach my son things that a man can because he had no examples, no uncles, no stepdads, no big cousins, no nothing. Dang. So Relencia had to put on that hat as if I am the opposite sex. So, so what I so did... I got, a, I got a question for you real quick. Uh -huh. um, did, did you find it... Uh, shit, how do I want to formulate this? Do you think that he's going to struggle learning how to be a man in today's culture without that father figure? Because um, I don't like this... Like, I, I don't... I don't want this to come off disrespectful as even though some women have told me that it is, but I'm going to say it anyway, because this is my platform. I don't believe that women can raise men to be good men. I feel like they can raise them to be good people, but they cannot raise them to be a good man. Do you think that you being a single mother and having to do everything yourself is going to make it harder for him to, 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 to function as a man, as an adult? Now, I would say at a one point, it is. It would be hard. But let me tell you what changed the dynamics of even that answer changing now. Because when I finally realized that, Relencia, you can't do that. As a woman, when we realized you can't do that, I had to do something that I didn't want to do. That my pride and my selfishness didn't want to do. And what I did was I sent my son to his daddy house. Mm. I said, you got to go. Because I can't do this with you learning what you just said, being a man. But I can't do that. I can't give you that. So I literally kicked my son out. He was okay. 17. He had one more year of school. And I told his daddy, he got to come with you. He got to go because it was stressing me out. It was too overwhelming because he wanted to be combative because he wasn't getting what he wanted from the male part of who he was brought into this world from. Right. He was getting giving me the headache and the fight and the, the, the back talk and all of the behavior issues because of what he was missing. So I sent him to his daddy house. For his last year of school. Now I'm going to tell you how this changed. Now see us as women. We got to realize what you just said. We can't do that. So there's something we're going to have to do. I don't care if you don't like your baby daddy. I don't care if that nigga, nigga ain't shit. I don't care what you may think of him in your head. You're going to have to come up to a decision. You know what? Let my son be in his environment. So that he can try to rekindle, rebuild a relationship, whatever they want to do and how long it may take. Now, with my son's situation, it was only a year. He had already made up his mind. He was going to the service while he was in school, his junior year. He already took his test. He already had his mind set where I want to go. Right. And mommy, I was good with him, but dad wasn't. But he went to go with his dad. That last year, I'll tell you, it made a turnaround for my son, not only made a turnaround for him as a young man, but it made a turnaround for me and his father to have an understanding that, you know what, you know what, even though I wasn't there in his life like I wanted to be or whatever, now I understand the conversation we had and where I needed to be for right. him during those times I should have. Right. And now that I'm here, I'm going to do what I need to can for him right now. Yeah. And they did that. For that year, and it made my son's mindset like, okay, 
all right, my dad is my dad. This is why he is. And my mom is what he, she is. And this is whatever. But you know what? I'm going to take the bitter with the sweet from both of them and make it things great for myself. Yeah. And that's a how. People, a lot of people don't realize, like, something else that we've been big on on this podcast is we you need both parties. Like, I don't, like, and yeah. I'm a big champion of that. I don't care how much you hate your baby mama. I don't give a fuck. Like we we've also championed going to court for custody of your kids. We've also mm. championed fighting child support. We've also championed if you get divorced, nigga, go after her shit if she make more than you. You know what I'm saying? We champion all this shit because oh, yeah. the, the way society is set up is always set up for the woman to win. Regardless of the situation, it's always set up for the woman to win custody, for her to win um the house and for her to win like she wins all that shit so what like the way that we attack it always is from the male perspective so it's like no nigga go get your kid like there's that there that meme that's been going around for like 10 years or some shit of don't ask um don't ask the man why he wasn't present in his child's life ask the mom why it was so hard for him to be in the child's life so mm-hmm. we always attacked it from the bitter baby mama side point. Let me throw you on child support and then deny you visitation and all that type of shit. But what people don't realize is that this is the, regardless of all of that, we have a child together. Mm-hmm. Once we have a child together, our relationship does not matter unless we're married. I'm, I'm also a big proponent that my marriage comes way before my kids. So. I actually argue with somebody about that, but we we talk about that. That's, that's God's order, but yeah, that's a whole diff, diff, <laughs> yeah, different kind of conversation. Um, yeah, but yeah, like we're 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 big on that. Like you need both parties. As a man, I can't teach you what a woman's feelings are. I can't teach you how to move around a woman when it's that time in a month. I can't teach you how to move around a woman where she's feeling vulnerable or when she like. I could tell you what I do, but. I got like a 40% success rate in doing the shit that I do. So go talk to your mama about that shit. Go talk to your mama <laughs> right. about the See, games that, like, well, that, that, that well, women play. Go talk to your mama well, about... What Mo was saying... Go ahead. I'm sorry. What Mo was saying earlier is the thing is that women, this is the part I don't... I, I, my, I, my skin crawl about women nowadays. See, you have to come to a sense of maturity about self. Sometimes you can't be pointing the finger at the man all the time. Sometimes it's you. It's you, you, you. It's yeah. you, boo-boo. You need to get you together. <laughs> you need to get you together because sometimes you the one who making it hard for your children. Can I say You are making it hard for your children and you're making it hard for yourself. Go ahead, Bobby. What's up? There has been a few women that I've been running into that we've been running into with a level of self awareness that is unheard of in women. Yeah, now. real <laughs> shit. And I, and can I? Can we get a round of applause for that? I mean, yeah, that, 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 that just goes to the point. Relinsia, for example. Relinsia, for example. Uh, Alicia. Yeah, um, Alicia. Yeah, you don't have some women on here who have some like. You have self awareness, and I just want to commend that. That's all. That's all I have to say. And then it ain't even really self awareness. It is self awareness, but even on top of the self awareness, it's 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 um accountability. Yeah, self accountability. Like, and (laughs) accountability is pressed in in the man's culture, in men culture, accountability is like rule number one. And in women's world, accountability is like oil and water. It don't mix. Yeah, like it don't mix. <laughs> and like uh like well, obviously well, I can't that, I wasn't dude. raised as a woman, so I can't speak on women's you know culture, but it seems like y'all are taught not to take accountability for the shit that y'all do because somebody's always gonna bail y'all out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It took it yeah. took yeah. it took me yeah. okay. I'm 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 being honest with myself. You know, it took me a, a while, and I'm telling you, it has nothing to do. Me acknowledging it had nothing to do with no relationships. My mama, my my sister, it was my children. My children are the reason of this this new dynamic of a mindset 
because like Mo said, how we communicated, how in my household, we was open and honest with each other. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't have that growing up. I was like you, uh, post. I was like you. I, I didn't grow up with my dad. It, it had to. The, it's a process. Valencia had to do some dissecting in order for Valencia to do what she need to do for her children, so that they can be better than what I had. Yep. Because I didn't have my dad growing up at all. So I had to make that step to have finally have that conversation, that uncomfortable ass conversation with him. Like, where were you? What happened? And I'm the oldest out of my all of my siblings. Like, why they weren't you there for me? Now I gotta learn about these niggas by experience. And I don't even know my dad. So I understand what you're saying. I have no acknowledgement what he like, what he don't like, or nothing. And I made that attempt to have a relationship, but he was so upset and trying to keep pointing the finger at your mama this, your mama that. Okay, that's neither here or there. We talk about in the now. Right, take accountability, nigga. What did you we do? ain't talking about what happened when I was little, and at the time when we had this conversation, I was thirty eight. Like about now. we don't care. I don't care what happened between you and mama. I'm you and my mama. I want to know forward, what are we gonna do right now. Right. What are and we gonna I do think, now? I think that's some of my problem too. Um, because I mean, I've I've said it a few times, but this is also something that we've covered on the pod. Like my dad was present enough for me to know exactly who he was, where he lived, who he was dating, all my other brothers, and still seem absent. So I know his likes and dislikes. I know his thought process on some things. But for me to know that much about you and still not know you is what I struggle with. That's why I am the way I am. For me to know that mm. much about you as a man and still say that I have daddy issues is fucking crazy to me. Yo, the piggyback. Now that's that just real shit. Go ahead. You know, you know what, B? I'm going to say this. Maybe one minute for you to know him, my brother. Oh, yeah, I'm 34 years old now. Hey, like, take like, it around with it. Yeah, I seen that nigga a few weeks ago. You know what? You know what? At the end of the day, you know what? You know what? At the end of the day, guess what? You, you, you got what you needed to get up out of it, and that's what it was. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He told me what that's not what to you do. You needed to learn from it. What, what you, what you learned from it. He told you know me what, what not to do. You, you got, you got what you needed up out of it. There's you, a silver you know, lining in everything. Is look for it. Too. Yeah, I, I definitely. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I just, you know I really just came to that conclusion, like, you know, let, let that right shit. before I turned thirty. Like right before I turned thirty, I was like, well, shit. All right, what right. did you learn from him? I'm like, all right, you learned what not to do. I'm like, damn, is that all I learned? All right, cool. Like, let me see what I can do hmm. with it. Like, hey, guess what? What you was about to say, Bobby? Guess what? Hey, that that's that's the best. That's the best shit to know what what not to do. <laughs> yeah. Bobby, what you was about to say? Uh, you were saying about um, how you know exactly who your dad is, where he live at, and all that other type of shit, but still don't know your dad. And um, I was about to say, too, like, I mean, I know my dad and all that, but I don't know my dad. Like, he had told me a story the other day about how he didn't like marshmallows and why. I mean, it was a funny story, but I... After that, like I realized, like yo, I don't really know much about you for real. So yeah. I've been trying to do that with my kids, like, and I was going to piggyback off of a, a, a point that Mo was saying, like, let your kids know that you can talk; they can talk to you about anything and everything. A way that I'm trying to implement that is I'm trying to get them to know me, like, give them stories about myself, so they can feel like they know me and get comfortable enough with me so they can feel like they can talk with me. Right. Is that, is that, is that fine line? Yeah. It's that fine line that, it's that fine line that, that we were always taught was so taboo of friendship versus parenthood. Right. It's like you mm. don't let your kids get too close to you because then they're going to try to take advantage and all this type of shit. But mm. you kind of got to walk like nowadays, uh, Morgan, uh, Morgan here, Bobby. By the way, I know that's your homie. Uh, but she said I recently was also more. come from the parents' past trauma too. Um, we, we, we touched on we touched on that uh, about a couple months ago, Morgan. Um, but yeah, like I've got to the point now to where 
like me and Tyler, like he understands who the fuck I am. Like I'm daddy, nigga. Like when I say something, I mean it. And I mean it as your dad. But when we chilling and we in the car or we just talking about some shit, nah, nigga, like it's friend time. I need you to understand that you need, like Mm -hmm. not need, but I want you to, when you think about some, some, some deep shit that you want to talk about, I want my name to be the first one that pop in your head. Yeah. I want to be your best friend, but I also want you to understand that I'm the authority. I'm the Mm -hmm. alpha. I'm I'm mm-hmm. alpha and omega, nigga. Like, no, this is my shit. But I also want you to understand that right. I'm not going down you for your thought process. I'm going to talk to you. Like, let's talk. And that was one thing from our generation that was lost or gained, really, because we still grew up with those same rules of kids are supposed to be seen and not heard. And mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah. Hey, and that's that's the. That's yeah, a good one. And I heard yeah. what goes in his house stays in his house. Yeah, and and that's why we got all of these. You know, what, hold on. What, let me that, let me throw my banner was, up. Hold on, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Let me throw my banner up. Uh, <laughs> that's why we. That, that's why we have all of these uncles that then molested our right. sisters, and we got all these granddads that then you know talk shit about all this. Like we got a whole lot of secrets in the black community that we don't fucking talk about. Because what happens in this house stays in this oh, house. So fuck man. out of here with that bullshit. No, nigga. Man. But I've got to the point now yeah. to where, and I've been very vocal about this on the podcast, on my own personal socials, all that shit. This is the first fucking generation where there are more present fathers than ever. Like, mm-hmm. the present fathers the are ever. in abundance right now. Like, we want to fuck with our kids. And I think it, like going back to what Morgan said, I think it came from our parents' past trauma. They went through so much shit and we, they never fucking talked about it. So we were treated a certain type of way and we were talked to a certain type of way to where it's like, damn, bro, I don't never want my kid to think like my mama did or I don't never want my kid to feel like how my mama used to talk to me or how I used to get my ass beat or whatever like that. Like, whatever the fuck you took from your childhood that you would like, I'd never do that to my kid. That's from your ch- that's from your parents' past trauma. And so on and so forth. Their parents' trauma, their parents' trauma, their parents' trauma. Like, it's a, right. it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a drip damp. But with this new technology age and us having access to so much fucking information, we're the first generation to be like, nah, fuck all that shit. <laughs> like let's talk, my nigga. Like let's talk, son. Like what's up? Uh, That's Bean funny yeah. too. She said uh, it's important your kids know your story as a man or a woman, and ju- not just their parent. Exactly my point. Yeah, that's a. That's she a spoke that's right what I was getting ready to say. She definitely. What was that, Morgan again? Nah, no, that was Bean. That was Bean. Nah, that was Bean. That's our well, okay, yeah, that's she, number one fan. Our she manager. said. She yeah. said exactly what I was going to get ready to say. Uh, and, and the reason why I was going to say that in a nutshell, because I was having a conversation after my son graduated boot camp and we went something to eat. And, you know, your children know who you are and, and, and know things about your past, like she was just speaking about. And they learn things from you. And this was the first time that as we all were just talking about being uh, in good communication with our children and allowing them to be honest and something happened at the restaurant and my facial expression changed because I didn't like what the waitress was doing. And my son at 18, ain't never did this before. Like he really in a nutshell kind of put me in my place. And what he did was like, mom, you don't have to change your posture or change your demeanor because other people are doing like that. Or other people or somebody else is doing this and this and whatever. So when your children see how you react to something, they remember why you react the way you react in about a certain situation. They are, they can be in a, a better, mature place of way of thinking to correct you when you're wrong, when you're in the wrong place. And I was so not expecting him to say it because he did it in such a a grown man place and we didn't have this conversation at the table. He politely grabbed my hand, walked me outside and was talking to me one-on-one. And he said that. And he also said, my, I learned 
being in our house and, and despite of where I grew up in, I know what I'm going to be as a father. And I'm going to make sure that I be a strong father because I, because I had a strong mother. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that I do things that I don't, that I don't do that I used to want to do because I used to be all this frustrated and all this kind of stuff before I came here. And so our children do pay attention to the things that we go through and they don't want to put themselves yeah. in a position where they could repeat that pattern over again. Yeah. Even though, even though he checked you, did it make you proud that he did it? <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I was like, okay, then. I'm sorry, son. My bad, mama. Sorry. Yeah. And I it, ain't it, mean it to. Is, and it's so <laughs> yeah. it, it's so heartwarming. Like you kind of you kind of have two thought processes when that shit happen when your kids check you. Um <laughs> like um like I said, like another thing that I talk about often on this podcast is my relationship with my mother. Let you know you're doing a good job. Like, yeah, yeah. real shit, Mo. Um, my relationship with my mother is like head and heels above any parent child relationship that I've witnessed because of how open we are with each other. Like we had to grow to that, but how open I am with my mom and how open she is with Ooh. me, like there's nothing off limits. How so, does mama be doing? She good. She, she good. Don't hold no punches either. Nah, she don't. She don't hold no punches. <laughs> she don't. She sound uh, like me. Don't she hold let, shit back. She let the yep. clip go. Uh, she let yep. the clip go. Boy, she did. Man, she did. Not for sure. She, uh, but nah, we, we, we got a real, like, we got a real dope relationship to the point where um, if you see us talking to each other in public, it don't sound like that's my mama. Mama. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you was on the pod. Did, did you just call your mama the N word? Yeah, yeah, real shit. Like, I get that often. I, they fight you. I get that often. <laughs> so, my mama came to, um, I was working the overnight, right? And yeah. I got off at six, and my mama come yeah. in around six. So, I was waiting on her to, to clock in. And when she walked in, I was like, damn, nigga, like, I ain't about to keep waiting around for you and shit. Like, you know, joking, because you know what I'm saying? That's how me and mama be getting out. Yeah. Man, one of our co-workers just looked at me. She was like, you talk to your mama like that? She was like, uh-uh. You don't know what me and my son got going on. Stay over there. Period. Ain't nobody asked you to put your two cents in, girl. Stay what? in your lane. That shit was... Stay in your whole lane. <laughs> it was great to have that. It was good to have that backup, even though I was about to say the same shit, but it was nice to have that backup as a child. Like, all right, I know my mama got my back because I'm her child, but for her to be able to stand in solidarity in our relationship and be like, no, nah, bitch, this is how we get down. Like, he not talking crazy to me. You wouldn't let your son say that to me, to you. You know what I'm saying? Me and my son have a whole different relationship, so how we get down is how we get down. Like, he's he's not going to fucking disrespect me openly, and you know what I'm saying? Everybody know that shit. Everybody know how I feel about my mama. Yeah. But all right, mama. It, it it took a while to get to that. Like, and that's what I'm trying to like, even like piggybacking off of what your son said to you. Like, that's how I want my kids to look at me when they get older. Like, and I that's how I want them to look at their mama. Like, when they look at my wife, I want them to be like, damn, I want a woman like my mama. You know what I'm saying? When my baby girl get older, I'm like, damn, I want a nigga like my daddy. Like I don't want them looking outside. Like when they say you ma you marry your 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 parents, like that shit is true. Like anybody that know my mama and my wife. Oh, don't be saying that. Don't be saying no, that. real shit. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> nah, but they, wasn't, you know you know they living, say a, a boy a boy like look for somebody who like his mama and a dad is a daughter's first love. Yeah, That's, I wouldn't know that. If, but, if oh, I swear to God, yeah, if. Yeah. But yeah, they say a dad is a, a boy's first hero and a daughter's first love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, if I didn't... If I wasn't living it, I would... I still... Like, I because I felt the same way. Like, nah, ain't no way all that... Type, like, my, my wife don't resemble my wife, my mama. She don't look like my mama. Hell, she ain't even the same color as my mama. <laughs> like, like, nothing. But the way that they act and the way that they treat their kids and the way that they're like submissive to a point the way that they're 
compliant to a point, the way that they're feminine to a point, like it, it reminds me so much of my mother. It's hard to be like, nah, I didn't marry my no nigga, I married my mama. I just married a white what? version. Yeah, okay, <laughs> that's white version of my y'all got me over here terrified, yeah, like oh, yeah. the bullshit. <laughs> but I get it. I get I get the sentiment. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Out, I get it. It's weird as fuck, oh, like because they they're such, they're right, such different mama. people. They're like, so white like, mama. You know what I'm I'm scared. Mama. <laughs> <Too thin. laughs> ben or better. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Your dad got to come Ben or better for me. Yeah, I don't know. That might yeah, be a mistype. That's some damn iPhones. You know, they autocorrect everything. Yeah. Ben yeah. might be her dad name oh, or something. Bro. Oh, she she go, she go get you with that iPhone shit. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> No. I don't even never look at it like that. I mean, it's funny. It's it's, it's ironic, not funny, but ironic because my younger brother, he's thirty five, and when we conversate, he say stuff like, "You don't even realize certain things you say and how you act remind me of daddy." Yeah. And I'm like, "Well, I wouldn't know that because I don't know him like you do." Because she, my brothers were raised with my father. My two youngest brothers, but oh, okay. I'm like, I would know that he was like, yeah, you do. And that kind of creeps me out sometimes. Like, what part of me reminds you of him? Because I need it's to know. Kind of so how you say shit. Like, I hear, <laughs> I hear my dad and me often. Like, a lot often. Like I said, I've got enough of a relationship with him to where I, I know him. I have know his yeah. voice. Like, I could pick it out of a lineup. Like, mm. I know him That's enough, crazy. and he's talk to me enough where it's like <laughs> it's some things that I say I'm like damn that's that nigga I can hear it like that's him I know it's him Relencia you gotta see you gotta see a picture of him and his dad you know what I mean it's ah oh, okay. man all right he was right he was right see I was right see that's his dad that's her dad yeah yeah but you gotta so, you gotta see a picture of Brandon and his dad they twins yeah. they twins they yes. twins Oh my! Picture. I know you got a picture down there. I'm gonna see if I can find it. I mean, you, just, you, just, just say spin image, huh? Person. Yeah, it, it's branded without locks. Nah, he got locks now too. Oh, okay. Oh my! Yeah, that's the, the yeah. He got locks. Because of the ago. DNA, you know, that we received from our parents, you know what I'm saying? We, we got we got attributes of our parents inside of us because of the DNA. You know what I'm saying? Coming from the initial topic of this of this podcast, what it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? It's is is in you. Like I don't look like my daddy, but I don't act, you know what I'm saying? People say I act like my father. You know I'm saying? Dead on my daddy. I don't I, I, dead with me. I don't think I act like it. You know what I'm saying? It's like what, what do y'all say that? But sometimes I catch myself, you know what I'm saying, saying things the way he you know I'm saying I've heard him say things before. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's just, it's just a, it's a part of your DNA. You know what I'm saying? Your, your DNA of who you is, you have your father inside of you. You know what I'm saying? Your daddy, your father, you know what I'm saying? He, he, create, he helped create you. So you got a part right. of him inside you, you know what I'm saying? Walking with you. So it's, you know what I'm saying? You know, maybe the way, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, 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 uh, you shrug, you shrug your eye when you're talking to something like that. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I'm saying? That's like what your daddy do. You know what I'm saying? Even though, like you said, you may not, you know what I'm saying? May not have a relationship with your father. But it's attributes of your father that you're saying that you carry with you that sometimes come out, you know what I'm saying? Because you know what I'm saying, you don't know him personally, you know what I'm saying, that well. You you don't you don't see it, but your brother right. see it. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, you know, people people say, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, I I am my attitude is since my when my nonchalantness is just like my father. And I'll be like, no, I ain't like dude. You know what I'm saying? I don't see what y'all see. They'd be like, Yeah, you just like your daddy on certain things, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I I got that. I don't give a fuck attitude. They'd be like, oh, I don't give a fuck. Fuck it is what it is. I keep it moving. Right. They'd be like, like, yeah, that's like, he just like his damn daddy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, but it's, it's shit. You know what I'm saying? That I do. Motherfuckers be like, you know what I'm saying? He just like his mom. He got a big heart. But how the fuck I got a big heart and I'm not at the same time? Right. It all depends on <laughs> that's some contradictive ass you know shit. It can be true. I mean, but no, but it, it's, it's true though because at the end of the day, it's like, so it's like for me, like, you know what I'm saying? If, if, I see you know, like you know, like at the job, you know what I'm saying, the job. I don't I, I don't kick I don't kick little girls off the bus because guess what? I got a daughter. 
know what I'm saying? That's that that's that Karen inside mm-hmm. of my mother, you know what I'm saying? And my father that's inside of me. I got a daughter. I'm not I'm not kicking a little a little girl off the bus who ain't got no no, no you know what I'm saying, no bus fare. Now I'm gonna sit down, baby, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna chew her ass out. You need to be you should have been home any damn but I'm gonna let you get home, you know what I'm saying? Because I got I got a child of my own and I'll be damned if you know what I'm saying, god damn it. Something happened to mad because a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be, you know, I'm not gonna, li- I can't live with that on my conscience, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm like I said, it's, it's just, I mean, it's, it's a part of, just, you know what I'm saying, a, a eugenics of, 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 of who we are, you know what I'm saying, of uh, the traits that we carry like that, you know what I'm saying? It's the traits that you carry, you know what I'm saying, of your father, you know what I'm saying, that your, that your brother see inside of you. Yeah. Our relationship, even more, I guess, is getting closer you because. You got it. You got it. Look at Oh man, you can't tell them apart. Which one, Brendan? You right. on With this, oh no, nah. uh, yeah, oh, 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 oh wow, oh, my Brandon. Oh, wow, yeah, that nigga show spit me, me out. Show me in. Hey, me it show sure is. You can't tell them apart. Don't feel bad. I like my mama, so you all right with the gold teeth. But they Brandon got a gold tee, so you don't know. They do look like. Yeah, I look just like that nigga, man. They twins. Yeah, when he wasn't denying you. When they say, <laughs> you know, hey, you know, hey, as black hey, people hey, be hey, like, you they. Who said that shit with disappointment, bro? Nah, that nigga spit me out, bro. <laughs> he did. That nigga spit me right the fuck out. He did. <laughs> That's this, I'm one kid that he ain't never gonna be able to deny. Right, he can't. So can't. No, no. The other Are six, the it, it, it's up for debate. Yeah, but me, nah. Yeah. You can't debate me, nigga. <laughs> well, yeah, man. It's, this has been a good episode, man. I guess we sure, we, we get towards sure. we getting towards the end now. Yeah, we've been we here towards the end. Yeah. Any, any closing thoughts, anybody? Oh, oh any other topics we talked on today? This was a good ass episode. We all contributed uh, thoroughly. Each one, each and every one of us, each and every one of us. Um, I even appreciate the feedback from our guests. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, and I, I mean, a lot of these things show you how different we are, but how similar we are at the same time. You know, as far as upbringing, thought processes, life experiences, it all. Kind of comes together in such a certain way. We're all we're more similar than we are different, to be honest. Yeah, for sure. Um, I gotta never mind. Cause that'll lead us into a whole nother conversation. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're already approaching three hours. We did three yeah. hours in a while. Yeah, yeah, a, a while. But I will say that um, even though uh, Relencia um, initially came on to oppose me. <laughs> I, I thoroughly enjoy talking to her and, and Mo. I, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm really glad we got Mo on the show. You know what I mean? Because I've been wanting, we've been talking this um, eugenics thing for a while. Uh, oh, wow. Thank y'all for coming on. And um, like like I said, I'll keep it short and sweet. I've thoroughly enjoyed this experience. I've um, enjoyed hearing what you all have to say and to contribute. Um, I ain't talked to Relicia like that, but I, I've talked to Mo a few times, so I know where his head been at. So. It's just it's just been nice to to get some different experiences from other people, you know. Yeah, for sure. That's all I gotta say about it. But thank y'all for coming on, and she probably gonna have to have y'all back for real, man. Yeah, for, for real. real. Y'all come back. For oh, real. that's what's yeah. up. Y'all that's come back for our bullshit episodes. We can clown the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Let me know. Yeah, yeah. I wanna. Oh man. I do. I just wanna tell all four of y'all that it's a blessing and it's an honor to be in communication and be in conversation with men that has other positive things on their minds. And as a woman, you Thank know, you. Um, <laughs> we, we like the fact that men can have dialogue because in this society, how it's going on now, men don't have conversations. They don't open up. They don't express. They don't tell you what they're going through or how they feel in about certain subject, whether if it's personal, outside, political, or whatever, they don't have these kind of conversations with women because even people who they're communicating with. So this is good. So I don't mind oh, yeah, long as, you know, yeah, y'all gotta let me, I, I'll come on here and, and be the uh, the devil's advocate for the women if y'all need me to. 
<laughs> oh, we definitely got some. Uh, definitely, we definitely got some topics, y'all. Cause I got a whole, I got a whole topic list of questions to ask women. So, oh, yeah, I'm definitely with Ooh. that. You know, you know what? I, I ain't trying to dig right enough, but I love to hear Alicia and Bean um together. Yeah, I love to hear them on the episode together. Yeah. <laughs> All right, B, let's go. <laughs> Not being too shy. No, 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 hold on. She did come on the podcast a couple weeks ago. Yeah, she did. Oh, yeah, shout out to her. She, she uh, definitely called in. She called in. Yeah, she shout called out in. to her. If we, we, if we could get her on an episode like this, I mean, that, that, that would yeah, be dope. Sure. She was real quiet today. I, I was kind of hoping she was going to get in her shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, you know, so I first, you know, so I'd like to thank y'all for, you know, what I'm saying for the invite, you know, what I'm saying on the topic y'all for y'all chose tonight. It was a uh, very, you know, what I'm saying in, interesting and out. When it's like I said, it's, it's it's things that we need to discuss. You know, what I'm saying as you know, what I'm saying a, a, a society of, of people, uh, even with all the uh, soft people in the world, you know, what I'm saying that, Facts. you know, what I'm saying that the sensitive, the sensitive people in the world. Uh, yep. You know, I mean, I, I'm. I'm I'm like you know what I'm saying how y'all feel. Hey, I'm gonna say what's on my mind. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying. If, if I feel it, you know what I'm saying. The way I'm living now, I'm I'm I'm, I'm telling my truth. I don't give I don't give a fuck how you like it. You know what I'm saying. How, how it affects you. I'm I'm gonna speak my truth on you know what I'm saying. What my heart is. You know what I'm saying. And like I said, I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying. And you know, uh, any 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 other time, you know what I'm saying. Y'all want to give me an invite, man. You know what I'm saying. Hit me up. Let me know, man. You know what I'm saying. I'm I'm, I'm more than open. You know what I'm saying. To get on here and talk. Don't, don't worry, bro. You feel know that. Oh we're yeah, gonna, you definitely coming back. back. You coming back? We gonna have you okay. back. Yeah, because okay. we got a whole lot of we got a whole lot of thought provoking topics that we ain't tapped into yet. Yeah, we've, yeah, oh, we. Oh shit! We easily, we easily got. Oh we, shit! We, we Let me get my comfies another, on for these. Yeah, we easily got another twenty topics, twenty episodes that we could go hours for. So you yeah, know, you know another thing I like, I really enjoyed about this conversation. How it started off as eugenics and then ballooned into like everything, um, everything like and the, the father, the father topic and all that about family and all that. It, hey man, this hey, I gotta give a shout out to my guys, man. This podcast dope as fuck. Hey. <laughs> hey, yo, 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 do y'all realize like we the um. <laughs> <laughs> After oh, four damn. Months, they, oh, damn. Yeah, we be uh, interrupting the games. Yeah. Hey, do y'all realize <laughs> you know, all the like urban um podcasts in Cincinnati? We like the longest running. Are we? we look, Are we? Uh, we like the God, longest bro. running, bro. Damn, I didn't know that. Oh, congratulations to y'all, man. Oh, okay, congratulations, y'all. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I say oh, look at Mo. Look at Mo. That was at 1800. No, that's Alco. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, we like to run longest in Cincinnati. In Cincinnati. Uh, so, Cincinnati, Cincinnati. Uh, so, um, Cincinnati. Uh, obviously, I want to thank both of our guests for tuning in. Uh, thank everybody for the comments. Morgan, Bean, Mufaro, yeah. um, Franche, Alora. Alora tapped in. We got Alora in a couple weeks too. That's gonna be a dope ass episode. Can't wait for that. Um, Listen to her podcast too. The Alora yeah, for Hour. sure. Uh, Alicia, who we have in a couple weeks as well. Yep. Uh, Miguel, shout out to Miguel, of course. Pastor Bendova, we appreciate you. For uh, sure, for sure. Dope conversations, Jet Flock Clothing. Yeah, for sure. So we can get into uh, oh, and, and, and look up Diallo bands on uh, on 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 streaming platforms. Yeah, for Listen sure. He dope. Yeah, we can we can get into our taglines. We can get up out of here. here All go. right. Uh, anime and video games are life. Facts. Shout out to my kings and queens out there. Keep striving to be excellent because y'all already are. Shout out to the fans, supporters, the listeners, everybody who gave us oh, like, God. share, comment, follow, all that. Um. There's no comfort in your growth zone. There's no growth in your comfort zone. If it doesn't scare you, you're too comfortable. Get out your comfort zone and grow. Take a risk. Finally, you can make millions or you can make excuses. You cannot do both. Eat. Ooh. And that's what Likes I'm talking that. about. Listen, listen. Oh, shit. It's the key. Self-improvement is the key. I say it all the time. Self-improvement is the key. Salute that man. Self-improvement is the key. Secondly, those that say you can't or you won't are just afraid of the fact that you will. 
And lastly, do not set yourself on fire to keep other people warm. Why you keep forgetting the dope ass tagline? Every what? Time? You keep forgetting dope tagline. When it, I, I'll say it for you. When it comes to your attention, be a very stingy, oh, dude, very high prices. Very high prices. Facts. All um, right, y'all. Um, of Man. course, when the facts change, I reserve the right to change my mind. No one wants what no one wants. The title of this episode, Education is Elevation. I cannot say that enough. Education is Elevation. Fact. Real. Uh, if you stay in a singular mindset, you're going to stay in a singular lifestyle. So you have to you have to elevate yourself by educating yourself. That's the only way that's going to happen. You don't make money by thinking the same shit you think right now. Um, what am I missing, Bobby? Oh, I'm humbled enough to know that I'm replaceable, but I'm cocky enough to know that it's a fucking downgrade. There's hey, a, where's my pen and paper? <laughs> I need to write that one down. <laughs> so That's the, at the end. Yes. There's, there's come, a you better come, come through with that one. Yeah, yeah. I'm humble enough. I'm yes. humble enough to know that and I'm, I'm cocky enough. enough but I'm you better cocky say that. To know that it's a downgrade. That's right. Yes. Uh, I need uh, to put that on a t shirt. That needs to be on a t shirt. I need to be wearing it. Check that the is Etsy. Check the Etsy, baby. Check the Etsy. It is. We, it have is. we already got yes. it. Let me promote you on that one. Let me promote you on that one. Check yes. The Etsy. It's out I like there. that. <laughs> um, you forgot two more, Brandon. There's a thin line between avoiding accountability and protect. protecting. There's a peace. thin line between protecting your peace and avoiding accountability. Mm. Um, um, and. It, they fight for what they want. Uh, we, that's the one I was getting to. <laughs> um, as black people, this is a black tagline. Do with it what you will. We take what we're given. They fight for what they want. At what point do we change our tactics? Mm. So for our Sunday people. For our viewership, we appreciate hey, y'all. Say, say, say that, say that again. I don't think they heard you. Be on that one right there. Rewind. I don't think they heard you on that one, B. Come on, Mo. Heard you on that one right yes, there, Mo. We take, you, baby. Say that we one take again. what we're given. They fight for what they want. At what point do we change hey. our tactics? That's a topic right there. Hey. You know what's um, right? Hey, it hey, is. Yeah, for hey, real. That's a topic right there. Hey. Um, for hey. Our, our viewership, we appreciate hey. y'all. Thank y'all for checking in on this Sunday evening. Y'all got us three hours. It's, it's been a while, but these two brought it out of us. So thank y'all to the oh, guests. Yeah. We appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for just for stopping in. No um, three three hours. Yeah, for we sure. Long, we long <laughs> stroke <there>. tonight. <laughs> 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 we gave him a long stroke tonight, boy. For yeah, our viewership, um, boy, it's Sunday. Yeah. Go out and make this a very productive week. <laughs> this does not have to come of monetary gain. Just do something to make your life a little bit easier. Uh, for our Wednesday people that's listening on Wednesday and for people that listen to it after, y'all have a good Wednesday. Have a good hump day. Hump something if you motherfucking can. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And we fucking out of here. Yeah. We holla. Y'all ain't got to go nowhere.